Yo 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 yo! It's your Welcome. boy. It's uh your boy Brian here. Hey, it's your boy Brian. Here. I'm leaving now. Oh my I'm god, done. Brian the Explorer. <laughs> the Explorer. No, I'm not an explorer anymore. Can I get a little headphone, please? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Jay. Uh, thank you so much, man. I know what's wrong. I'm, with I'm, you? I'm not good at hearing. Uh, so it's been a crazy day. Has it? It's been a busy day. Yeah, I feel like day. every Wednesday is like that lately. It's more so this Wednesday for me, but you're right. Wednesday, you know, remember, I thought Wednesday used to be like our mellow day. Wasn't it like the mellow day back in the Cause day? Because now Roxanne's on Wednesday. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. There's that, number one, but I think podcasts, obviously, number two. Uh, we used to not do podcasts. And then, it's a great day, though. Uh, yeah, now, you guys may not know this, but you're looking at a phenom right now. Oh, no that, way. The, what? Yeah, the multimedia uh, sensation. The Brian multimedia uh, sensation I have now taken to terrestrial radio. Where? Uh, who, Ivy behind you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see him. I am Phenom? now. What? Okay. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's so, the word. So that might have been Please a little elaborate. Bit of a yeah. Please elaborate. Yes. I am now a terrestrial are not, radio fe- are guy. Are you a transvestite? A female? What oh, are you, you like, got uh, the surgery you've been talking about? Yeah, that, yeah yes. transgender. <laughs> Pretend I'm a crop. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. We're just joking. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. still has it. Uh, yes, I did, <laughs> barely. Uh, but, um, but, uh, hanging on by hanging the on, baby. <laughs> hanging on by the I got, uh, yeah, I've been married a long time. Those balls have been gone for a <laughs> <laughs> Those balls have been shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> Not much milk left in them, bitches. <laughs> so, oh, uh, no, so I started, I was super excited. <laughs> of course, Lori uh, loves country music. Okay. I'm not as much. I don't. I don't. I don't want to say I don't like country music. I really don't know much about country music. It's what do you say? It's not your natural state. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't. It wasn't mine either until I. It just is interesting. Country in is interesting. You know, there's a lot of people I know that are like, like, yeah, we're rock and roll or rap, and then all of a sudden now they listen to country, and I find that interesting. That's like an interesting transition. I haven't. Maybe it's like drinking wine. You've got to get a taste yep. for it. Got to dip your toe think, in. Yeah. There's different kinds of country too, of yeah. so you know, yeah. different types could be types. more alluring to you. Just like, well, Does you like, me? so you like yeah. Florida Georgia Line because Florida they Georgia Line is good. they do kind of have almost a rocky, like a rock, yeah. exactly. southern rock, yeah. Yep. yeah. yep. So that's the thing. Uh, so the like. reason I was talking about this before we get back into country is that I uh, be pre the c word, the COVID word. Oh, that's um, word. Yeah, we had, no, we were going to do a weekly a segment one. <laughs> on one of the radio stations here, country radio stations yeah. here in Detroit's morning show. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did one segment, okay. and COVID shut everything down. Bingo. And we were done. That was the end of our yeah, radio. Kind of like our thing. one weekend of Reptarian. Yeah, it was like this it all like happened. one yeah. of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're done. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, I, I went to like a comedy club. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, the one time I went, got shut down. I was with Sergio. Shout out yeah. Sergio. Yeah, Sergio, my man. I yeah, to like up. we peaked, right? Because, yeah, you went yeah. to the comedy. I went to radio. We yep. had the grand opening, and, and then everything boom. shut down for three months. Uh, well, so anyways, uh, today Can started. I one yeah, thing. I think that means that we're on the right path, though. The trajectory. You, yeah, usually back up. life hits you with that uppercut when you're doing things well. Ah. So we need to keep. We need to go back, and we, we yeah. are. You're going back to the radio. Yeah. The Reptarium's booming, and now yeah. it's just my turn to hop up on that microphone. Mic- yeah, yeah, microphone. Sorry Did, for interrupting. No, no, I agree with you 100%. Are there any, like, smaller clubs open right now, comedy clubs? I've been lacking on looking it up. I'm looking it up. I don't think that. in yeah. Michigan, but Not Michigan. potentially. Maybe in, like, like Texas and stuff like that. I'm but sure there's going to be a long commute for your, your, your yeah, gig. Yeah, you're going to have to go to Take Texas. A flight. Take a flight. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so today marked the first uh, segment. Uh, there is now uh, the Reptarium with Brian Barczyk segment. Let's go. 93.1. My boy Broadway and Chrissy, thank you guys for having us. Thank you, awesome, Broadway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's cool. It's a, there's this really cool building uh, down in Detroit called the Fisher Building. Fisher. Uh, it is a badass building. So Jay, beautiful. Can you pull that up, the yeah. Fisher Building? You I want it. people to see how amazing this building the is. Fisher? The Fisher Building. Not the Fisker? Not the Fisker Building. What's the, the Fisker? Fisker? What's a Fisker? I've heard that word before. I, I think it's a, uh, a, a, a tool to measure chemicals. Oh. Like if you're a chemist. I'm not a you chemist. You have a fisker. Not a, oh, that might be. Yeah, I, frisker. Just made that shit up. I don't yeah, I don't know if it is. Anyway. Kind of but so anyways, uh, did we see the Fisker yep, building? Yep, yep. All right, so that's a beautiful building. So that's where the radio station is. Uh, and we uh, did our first segment today. It was awesome. Every Wednesday, mm-hmm. we'll bring in animals and uh, have some fun. So that's cool, cool. right? 
So is it just audio? Is radio or yeah, is it's there, just radio. And then they, they do live on Facebook. Too. Well, yeah, they do Facebook live too, but yeah. uh, but it's, cool. it's mainly terrestrial radio. But uh, it's it's pretty cool. And Sounds and uh, so country is uh, terrestrial. Is your home now? So, so now pretty soon I'm going to have a big. We, I have to have a big bu- belt buckle, right? Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's, that's part of buy? it. Yeah, yeah. You we can get some hip hop grills, country belt buckles. Big old cowboy hat. We have one next door. Oh, I have one. We bought one in Texas. Yeah, my dad's got to get a BB belt. You yeah, know what the yeah, BB yeah, belts yeah, yeah. are? They got no. big old bedazzled like diamonds uh, on them oh, or something. Nice. It's like crystal. For yeah. the Brian that's Barczyk. Nice. And uh, it's a big old buckle. It, that's a good a few years ago, I, I don't know if they're still hot, but at least a couple years ago they were hot yeah. in the hip-hop game. I do okay. remember that too. Uh, big old yeah. flashy boy. All right. It'll look great on you. I'm going to do it. Can we Plus work on that? Does pa- anyone in the hold your pants <laughs> anyone in the chat room make me a belt buckle? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like yeah, every somebody. Oh my god! We're, we're gonna have a the couple. The bedazzled bullshit you're gonna get is yeah. gonna be unreal. <laughs> if you guys make belt buckles, uh, email, reach out. <laughs> email Lori at info at bhbreptiles.com. And she can pick out the best one. <laughs> She'll pick out the best she one. It is. She's got it, plenty. Of we time. are really blessed though, oh because my god. every time we ask for help, we get help. You know, yeah. I mean, we have, you know, uh, is I it love t- the people. tomorrow table or, or I can't remember. That's what I'm uh, editing tonight. Okay. So a couple of days from now, you guys will see the table that someone made us. That was uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, that's for the new, oh, by the way, we're still in the Reptarium. We can talk about that for a second. Podcast. I don't want to. <sighs> Let's I'm, not. Even yeah. Don't even. I'm going to say it. Don't do it. Do it. Say it. But don't hold your breath. Yeah. Well, how about we just tell the fans, don't believe this next yeah. part. Yeah. Disclaimer. I, go. I, am, <laughs> I am hoping. He's working hard to try. I'm ho- That's to what hope. you're doing. <laughs> no, you did it well. Yeah. You said hoping. I'm hoping. I'm uh, hoping. Hoping. 90% 100% sure <laughs> that... Uh, I'm 90% (laughs) sure that I'm 100% sure that next Wednesday we'll be in our new podcast room. Yeah, you're going to try. We're going to do our best. Exactly. We're going to do our best. And that's all we can do. That's what they told me when I played baseball. Just do your best, Brian. Yeah, you'll make it. Do your best as I struck out every time. (laughs) I know, me too. Nowadays, you'd still get a trophy, though. I was a a catcher, though. I know. But anyways. uh, We'll talk about that. What's that? Those stupid wimps of children there are out there today. <laughs> and what? these parents that, that prop them up on their pussy pedestal. Oh, their fifth place pedestal. I agree. You did so good, Timmy. You got fifth place. No, you uh, didn't. Make them feel bad. You didn't win. I grew up on Ricky Bobby, bitch. Yeah, you're not <laughs> you're first, not your, first last. your last. You're not first yeah. your last. But All right? it's so true, though. And that true. shit, I ingrained that in my heart and soul. Yeah, it's Okay? True. Yeah. No, I agree. That's all I had to say. No, I, I agree. <laughs> no, I, I think that was a that was a good point. <laughs> Thank you. I raised you well. <laughs> I, I love the fact that last week someone commented in the comments after the podcast was up and, okay. and stuff. So not in the chat room. I can't they wait. said this was yeah, the most entertaining and offensive podcast I've ever listened to. <laughs> that's where we're shooting. That's so our that's, that's our happy our, medium. That's, that's our uh, that's good. our goal. Is, so is, is you? You were so offensive? No, I'm never offensive, but you guys are. In particular, the more you drink, the more offensive you become. They said. Do I? That's what they said that's in the comments. Yeah, most, pe- most people in the comments said yes, that. I saw that one. Not everybody, but most people. No, I'm kidding. This one person said that. <laughs> well, but, uh, if you want, if you want me to talk about something that may offend somebody, I can. No, no, that's okay. I could gladly okay. do that. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? I love those comments. Actually, today, so my door of my office has all kinds of stuff. Yes. Yeah. All over <laughs> it. Yes, it so Morgan just happened to be standing in front of my door reading it today. <laughs> oh, and gosh. she was like, oh my gosh. She goes, is this a real email? <laughs> and I looked at it and I was like, yes, it is. She's like, are you kidding me? So some guy called me a mean face turtle lover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that. fair though. That mean face <laughs> and so I liked it yeah. so much, I printed it out and stuck it up. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone wants to send <laughs> no. uh, uh, emails to Lori, info at BHB Reptiles. Or you can send them to BHB at... Oh, <laughs> wait a second here. Whoopsie. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's not give out cell phones or personal email accounts here. Right, then you should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I I don't, I don't want no emails. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But so we got it to the, the, the badass table for yeah. the, the, the podcast. It room. looks great. Reminds me of Avatar. And that's all I'll yeah, say Yeah, it's it. kind of cool. Yeah, like I a think river it's kind of, yeah. 
life or something. Like Pandora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. Actually, I didn't think about that. It's but really that's good, pretty. That's good. I hope it looks as good on the film as it does in person. Oh, yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to be hard to really yeah. pick up how beautiful because, it is. Because, yeah, yeah, the picture because that you I sent, sent me, yeah. and it was like, well, it's nice, but yeah. it does look so much nicer. In yeah, it's going to be because because it's, it's wood and epoxy, mm-hmm. and so it's like epoxy and river. And the colors, it's just like yeah. anything. It's so hard to really get, you know. Yeah. But it's still going to be cool. Your cameras be that you shoot with are much better quality yeah, yeah, than yeah, a phone. Yeah. Yeah. So. But Hopefully it's really cool. So shout out to my boy Cody that made the table for us. Thank uh, you, Cody. Yeah, Cody. Really beautiful. Loving it. Yeah, so everyone loves it. and. So, uh, and, and I've decided I can't drill holes in that. No. I'm going to try to clamp to yeah, the side. Yeah, let's try it. I'm going to try to clamp because I just couldn't. There's got to be a way to, to do it to well that, that won't thing. fall. Yeah. You know? You know, it's, it's yeah. yeah. I'm okay with that. But yeah. so if we're lucky next week, we, we can, can get back to that. Then, then you know, <laughs> Noah's got, you know, can get back to his podcasting. Yeah, I know. We can get I'm back excited. to, uh, I know Bruce is uh, over here. He's chomping at the bit to get back on the podcast. Um, I think it'll be good, though. And then the, uh, the uh, Been Wondering will start cranking. We've got a bunch, yeah. of, bunch of different yep. ones coming. Uh, it looks like we'll have, uh, uh, I, I again, a lot of maybes you know obviously tyler nolan wants to come back up we've got uh savannah from gatorland wants to come this month omar gosh uh says Ooh, he wants yeah. to come that'll be really a good one you for know that who we should have on it, that? i know it's a little strange and you probably haven't thought about it but he, i think it would be an interesting pod- podcast the real Mowgli. yeah Jer- no i like him he, yeah we, he, i've talked to him about it actually yeah he knows uh surprisingly an incredible amount of people yes um yeah, he does. Especially in the basketball world, like yeah. he's uh, hangs out with all these uh, really big time basketball players. So, just even it. That's a uh, God. I'm so fucking retarded. Give me a second here. Let get the engine rolling. <laughs> Grease up those pistons, baby. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it would just be cool to talk yeah. to somebody that has this experience, like around yeah. those people and stuff. Well, and now he's meeting a ton of people because you know he works at you know uh, Myrtle Beach Safari. Well, that oh, too. Cool. Of course. Yeah, so and tons of people go there that are, you know, big names. Did he and stuff come like here? That. Yeah, he's never been here. So you yeah. met him in LA. Uh in, in California, yeah. I used to uh hang out at Jay's place and stuff like that. Which cool. I found actually I heard that Jay's place opens tomorrow. Congratulations. Yeah, that's so good oh, for Jay. Nice. Yep. Yeah. It's, he put a thing saying it's gonna reopen time. uh tomorrow, so that's pretty dope. I'm good for him. Yeah, he's closed for like six months. Yeah. I mean, I could you imagine the Reptarium closed for six Can months? I, I mean, that's a you know, it's a tough time. I know this is like um Kind of just like free sponsorship for that guy, the Mowgli. Yeah. The Mogul. Yeah. He, uh, the real. Dude, when, when people, people love making excuses in life to not, yes. to not do shit, whether that be, uh, achieve their dreams or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Man, the real Mowgli never made an excuse. Like right. you said, hanging around Jay stuff, grinding, yeah. meeting those people all the time. And now look at him. He's got yeah. a, a good following. He's working at a nice yeah. zoo with these amazing animals because yep. he worked his ass off for it. So uh, oh, that's I think why he's continuting to work hard. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, like, I think those guys work really hard down at Safari. You know, so they're, it's, they're uh, working hard. You know, everything can, even just that can be inspiring. Well, like like yeah, you yeah. said, it's about what you're willing to sacrifice to get where you want to get, right? You right. know, I mean, I, I my, again, I don't know, so I might be completely talking out of, of turn here, but I believe that uh, the employees there make very, very, very little. Like I'm talking like, like a couple dollars an hour type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but they live on, on, they live and they get fed and stuff like that. So it's really a passion thing. And they, and my understanding is they work like 10, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Yep. And they don't get any days off. Three hundred sixty-five days a year. There's no days off. So the fact that he's willing, to, and and I could be completely wrong. So I'm not trying to. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But that's what I've heard from other people that have worked there. And um, uh, so so to be willing to sacrifice to do that because you love the animals and you believe in a, a message so much that is impressive. And uh, and and you know that I think anyone that works with animals though is you know willing to sacrifice a lot. For sure. It's yeah. just cool to see um, young people still having a good work ethic. I agree. Yeah. It's know? rarer and rarer as time goes on. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. You're right. And uh, it's something I hope. What's on your mind, Laura? You just kind of have yeah, that come look on, on your face. What's like, going on? I don't know if I want to be She here. doesn't really know him that much. No. But that's okay. What, uh, what? I'm smelling something and I'm trying to figure what out are, what it is. Smell my fucking <laughs> armpit, Mom. It's it doesn't smell. No, it's not you. It's not me. Well, well, it's probably you then. It's a musty smell. 
It's not me. I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I shower every day, babe. I know. I, is, it, is it like, I've a, three is it like an animal? We are in what a are reptile smelling? zoo. No, it smells musty. Like so I what? I was wondering if it was like You want to smell table? my butt? Or something. Smell is the table. It, yeah. Because we, we have been storing stuff, and like we did have that roof leak, and you know, or that basement thing. Mm. So. Jay. It's, I'm sorry. Jay, tell me. I just can't. <laughs> I think Jay smells. I noticed this morning when me and Jay were driving to the radio station that, he that there was a musty? Must, musty smell. Yeah, that's what he said. He said it smells musty. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Right. It smells musty. And I do have this fan that's blowing like around blowing Jay, Jay to yeah, me. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's Jay. It's me. No, really, Jay usually smells like Old Spice. Yeah, that's so, fair. I use Old Spice. So that's, that's, that's not a bad smell. That's how my stuff, Dan, no. always uses Yeah, Old mine too. Spice. I swear to God. Oh, man. So, so we you, got memories built up with that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's hit a couple Super Chats and then just talk about uh, the special uh, uh, visitor we had today. Awesome. Sweet. So uh, Pat Greiser, back in the building. Patty. Hey, what's Hi, up? Uh, she says, Brian, out of all the reptiles you have, which has the most characteristics? I don't know if that means like character Maybe character. Or- I, I was just talking about this to somebody, and I can't remember who it was. What, it's a hard one, though. I just literally said this. You were probably I, talking to about our special guest. I don't think it's uh, that hard. No, yeah, no, it was just a, like a day or two ago. Oh, okay. What, what do you think? If I were to guess, mine would be Bella. Bella is a is a very emotional animal. She's a character. She is a character. She's very emotional. I guess it's interesting because... Yeah, you've got like Diddy and Dixie, the rhino iguanas that just like come out every time you open the cage. Mm-hmm. And that's an interesting character. But it is maybe a little more interesting that Bella sometimes comes, but sometimes chooses not to come. Yeah, it's, you know, and, and, and you never know what you're going to get with her. I so, say Ivy, 100%. Ivy, I, I, I don't was, get that yeah, vibe I, I, I agree. No, I do agree with Jay with the Ivy. You got to uh, hang out with her more, dude. It's like weird. She's yeah, super, super curious. She'll like, come so, stick yeah. out how, like all the way over the water and like be like looking yeah. at everybody as you're chilling. It's very strange. Yeah, I know. It's uh, Well, you get a lot of lizards because think about Nova. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nova's yeah. got, yeah, he's like a people watcher. Yep. Uh, Bella, certainly. Elvis is a one in a million. How about um, the tortoises? Do you get anything from, like, I think uh, I think I might have said something about Matilda, actually. Yeah. might have been one of the ones. She's got a lot because, of character. Because she loves your mom. Yeah, And true. she will not come to me, ever. But yeah. as soon as she hears your mom's voice, she perks up and stands up and, like, what's going on, mom? It, it is, it's weird that a tortoise can bond to a human being. Yeah. You know? And, and it's crazy because remember she, when Jeff came, it was the same thing. Like it had been months. She remembered yeah. him. And yeah. as soon as he came in, she just like perked up like, oh, no like way, she was really? super yeah. excited. And um, so I, I, There's I think. There's a memory bank in that dome ski. Yeah. So <laughs> well, I think. They live a uh, long time. They probably have a memory like an elephant. Yeah. They have an elephant like a, a memory like a tortoise. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camp Cannon obviously has countless tortoises. He does. Does he ever make any videos talking about how his tortoises and him have a relationship? I. I haven't seen any like that. I mean, he okay. certainly talks about personality and he loves the animals a lot. I don't right. know that he's talked about relationships with the animals. I think I think that we're a little bit unique in that way. Yeah. Not totally unique. Kevin at Nerd certainly talks about it a lot too, about having relationships with animals. Mm-hmm. I think some people still think, feel that that's a little bit... Um, Hippie. Anthropomorphizing. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, a little bit more anthropomorphizing or hyperbolic where, you know, it's it, you know we're making something of nothing. But I disagree. A hundred percent disagree. No, because animals definitely have yeah. personalities because even take, say, we've got the three leopard tortoises. Yeah. All three are different. totally That's true. different That's so personalities. True. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, and they're the same animal. Franklin. He, right. He's so curious. Yeah. yeah, all the time he's He'll just climb crawling up. On your lap. Yeah, he's yeah. just looking yeah. up all the time. But but then Big Steve Mama too, and is kind of more. She's more chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she's, she's laid of. back. She's just motivated by. But food no, I think I, but that was a good. <laughs> but that was a good question, Pat. I, I, that's interesting. I mean, there's a lot of animals that have. So many animals that have so much character. It's they hard do. to pick I think one. I'm on the Matilda side now, too, though, because yeah, she does a lot of weird things. Matilda is bizarre. <laughs> like, she does the, like, the, <laughs> yeah. where she lifts the arm up and then, like, rips the, rips the stuff in pieces. Oh, yeah, she awesome. tri- yeah, we call it tripoding because yeah. when she eats, she always lifts one front leg up, whether it's, it's right or left. Yeah. And uh, it's, so she's a, she's a, re- so we do have to get that door. I keep saying I'm going to do the door. I think that's going to change her a lot, too, to be able to actually come out yeah. and, and walk around and, and explore. I think that's going to change her personality a lot. Lately, the last couple of weekends, she's been been out for pets, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which really? is cool because she she usually doesn't like people that yeah. much, you know. So that's um, nice. So that's cool. Go Next on. one is uh, Roberta. She uh, she says, "I always loved Kid Rock back in the day, and still do. Yeah. He kind of went country. Yeah, he's awesome in yeah. concert. Hope you're all doing well." Shit. 
Yeah, no, uh, I have never he met puts Kid out a Rock. Really good I've never met him, but uh, ironically I've enough, met Kid my Rock. Oh, did you? In Detroit one time. <laughs> oh, really? I'll in tell Detroit. the story. Tell Remember, it. we were walking to, we were walking to a dinner at an Italian restaurant, and oh, this homeless oh, person yeah, he screams <laughs> at our buddy. He screams at our buddy. Oh my gosh. Kid Rock! <laughs> yeah! It just so happened that our buddy was uh, six foot seven yeah. and played uh, professional hockey for the oh San Jose Sharks. He was Kid Rock? He yeah. was definitely not Kid Rock. He wasn't Kid Rock, but this like crackhead yeah. was like, yeah! yeah! Yeah, I love it! I love Detroit! But ironically enough, my, uh, my tattooer, uh, Bob Tyrell, um, is the one that not only tattooed the eagle on... Uh, Kid Rock, but also is the one that designed it. So Kid Rock's like symbol, ah. that eagle, that American eagle, is actually Bob Tyrell. He's the one cool. that made it. Wow, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So and he does all his tattoos. So cool. he seems like a he. Everyone says that that has met Kid Rock. Says he's a super super good dude. And uh, and uh, and I heard something. Is he still with Pam Anderson? That I don't know. I, don't know, if, I know he was for a little while, but I just heard that she like launched some new uh, like web camera uh, type of a site. I can't remember what it's called. It's not like a not <laughs> like, like an OnlyFans. Only, it's not like an OnlyFans. <laughs> That's all I can think about. <laughs> no, it's not like an OnlyFans, but it's like it's like an OnlyFans without the porn. You know what I mean? Like for like celebrities to webcam to their people as a paid subscription. Oh, oh okay, okay. We need okay. another and, one and, of uh, those. And, yeah, yeah. and I heard that she <laughs> just launched. And, and apparently, yeah. apparently, she's like super private person. Like it looks like they're like, no longer together. I didn't know. Yeah. Um, and, you know. Why does everyone? Maybe you guys can fill me in a little bit. Why do all the rappers always rap about Pamela Anderson? Is it just because her was name the rhymes shit back well? In the day. No, she was oh, the she shit, was the back shit back in the day. Yeah, yeah she, you know, she's, was she just like another pretty girl out there, or did she she's have just a talent? blonde, huge, fake yeah, boobs? She was, yeah, you know? she was on. What was it? Um, she, she was, was the on one Baywatch. To, Baywatch. That's yeah, it. She was on Baywatch. <laughs> Mom said she was the one to bang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fair. Yeah, Tommy Lee did it. Tommy Lee did it. You can oh, watch that. He did it live. You can watch that. <laughs> yeah. That's all over the interwebs. Go, go do your homework, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the one where... Uh, that was the honeymoon that, that everyone saw. That everyone they saw. Brought, they brought the world on that I honeymoon. Think they yeah. really did. I think Molly he, Crew we watched. Yeah, yeah and movie. he like pulls up into like a, an interview or something, and and uh, he's getting interviewed, and he's like, where are where, where are you guys? Why are you guys late? And he was just like, we were fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was actually a really good movie, The Dirt. <laughs> yeah. You know, that yeah, was yeah, a good yeah, movie. Yeah. If anyone's into Motley Crue, The Dirt is a must see. That's a, it was a good because it's actually that produced was a, by even if you're just into music yeah. or anything. Yeah, it was yeah, just a just, great yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, movie. okay, and I know I'm showing my age here, haha, <laughs> in a young way. <laughs> yeah, but uh, before I seen that movie, The Dirt. You didn't I, even know about I, Molly I Crew. knew a little bit about Molly Crew. The music, if it came on, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, this fucking song's good. But know nothing about it. I watched that movie three or four times. Yeah. And, like, uh, it really, pe- like, piqued my interest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was a Rock really star unique, shit, yeah. like, yeah. you know, that's shit I mean, they did happen. live the rock. I mean, you know, outside of, like, say, you know, the Rolling Stone era, you yeah. know what I mean? Back in the 60s when those guys lived like rock stars. Yes. I think, like, you know, probably Motley Crue was the only band that really did the same thing, right? You yeah. know, like, I, I'm not saying they didn't, other bands didn't live the rock side, but not, like, openly live the rock. I mean, they were the type of band that would go into a hotel and, like, do $40,000 worth of damage to the hotel, throwing TVs out windows yeah, and yeah. trashing the place. They because were what was, you aspired to be. Yeah, they were what I wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were my idols. <laughs> they were. I mean, I, I, I love those Bill guys. Bill Burr has the fucking best joke about, I know which one you're about say, your dude. rock your rock shit, dude. He's just like, these fucking kids and their rap music, back in my day, music is you dressed up like a girl and you worship <laughs> yeah. Satan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's such a good joke, yeah, too. Yeah, just that's flash true. to the cover of <laughs> yeah, Cemetery. And, and you know, it's funny, because I still have the cassette that I've never converted to an mp3 because i wanted to i want you i'd like you to hear I that i need, need yeah, you to gotta, hear it actually hear it. I, you have going in the guys, vlog heard it, right i've you've never heard it. heard it you've never heard can we it? No. can we put pieces of it in the vlog too oh, yeah, randomly because yeah. oh, that would be so good dude. yeah right yeah the, I, my band might when, copyright it, strike oh, yeah, yeah. No, they'll no. finally make some move yeah, on yeah, that shit dude copyright strike by cemetery that's awesome uh so anyway so we had an interesting guest today it'll be in the vlog in a couple days was it it was a king cobra a cabra. Ooh. It's a cabra. beautiful a one, by the way. It's really yeah. beautiful. It's was a it the red one Malaysian. You posted? Yeah, it's the one I post on Instagram. So that was just a little baby? It was a little one. It wasn't a big, big one. It's about eight months old. 
absolutely a wonderful, wonderful snake. So, cool. uh, oh my God, the um, temperament was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable on that thing. Yeah, they're nice. so smart. Yeah, super, super nice. I mean, you could probably have handled it without any. any could have those. tickled it. I wasn't going to because it's I'd a get, cobra. I get, I get uh, in trouble. You love and your the, wife? the continued, uh, uh, you know, repetitive dream of me getting killed by a cobra. Probably maybe makes me think mm. that free handling might not be the mm. best thing I ever do. But well, there you go. I agree. I'm so happy yeah. that you're using your brain. I'm happy. Yeah, not just my That's monkey so nice brain. That's yeah. good uh, <laughs> problem solving you've, you're doing there. Yeah. Keep it up. I mean, I get it. I, I, I'll, I'll get <laughs> risky with it, but I'm, I know my limitations. Right. When I want to push it, I think this would be bad, so I better not. I think that That's good. really That's just keep that dream in mind and just make sure that the scene and the setting is never matching that dream. You know what I mean? Well, you know, the thing that's really interesting is that every time, not every time, but multiple times, a lot of different times, it's completely different. Yeah. Like, I got bit by a black mamba with dingo the other day in my dream. The other day? Yeah, just like so four or five days ago. So you just keep happening, these dreams, they never stop. I would say probably at least once a week, I have a dream of getting killed by a venomous snake. Usually a once cobra, a oftentimes a white cobra, and uh, this time was the first time with black mamba. First time with the black mamba. A, a black mamba. A black, a black, a black mamba. Very, very interesting. A black mamba. Black. But I mean, I'm not like, I don't fear him at all. Now, That's I was going to ask, this is, might sound silly because Let's it sounds it. like obvious, but is it a bad dream in the sense no. of like, does it, is the dream scary before you get bit? Never score scary before I get bit. I'm always like really enjoying myself handling it. And the dream always ends with me getting bit. It's never mm. like, I don't huh. know what happens next. Interesting. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. it's, it's just. So what? Do you wake up with that? <gasps> Cause you got, no, I don't necessarily even wake up. I, I, I just don't, don't remember, remember past that. It's like the end of the dream. I don't wake up. So you it's know, just, just end scene. Just end, end scene down, me like, getting bitten. But then it's credits. You know? But you but it's kind of like, you know, how like people it's, will, will look at fire and be like, oh, I freak. Oh, speaking about fire, I got to tell a story about getting burned yesterday. But uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know how people look at fire or, or like whatever, or like a saw blade and be like, I want to stick my finger in that saw blade just no. to yeah. see what yeah, it feels yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of no, how I feel about getting bit. That. By a venomous snake, like it's. I'm curious. Like I got to imagine, like the second you get bit, what goes through your mind? Well, oh, it's you know, really easy like because you've been bitten a million times by other things. No, but it's different because you've got this. This is the sensation. I think. I think one, you'd be like, "Holy oh, shit. shit!" Two, you'd be like, "Is it a dry bite?" Am I starting to feel symptoms? Once you start to feel the symptoms, you then you're going to be like all of the symptoms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pl placebo <laughs> effect. Uh, but but then it, once you start feeling it, you'd be like, how bad is this going to get? Uh, you know what I mean? And then what's going to next? You know, there's all these things that would go through my mind. I find very interesting. Yeah, I agree. I don't. <laughs> I yeah. think I would. Uh, I. It's weird that I never got bit, but I I think I have a perfect analogy of how my how experience would go? would go how would it go i would get bit I, instantly the, there would be a pit in my heart <gasps> it would just feel like a, a endless just hole in my heart just yeah <gasps> Oh, fuck. And then I would probably get like real lightheaded and shit. I'm not talking. I'm not saying shit. I'm just looking like oh my god. These are the last 10 Nine. Yeah. Eight, <laughs> seven, and then I just fucking black out. And that's yeah. it. Like, that's the end. But what if you get to one and then you don't black out? Do you start counting like, again? Oh, or? Damn, here we go. Ten. Like, oh, nine. And eight. Again. Yeah. Wait a second. I never got past this part. I don't know what to do next. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, what do I do now? But no, I think it's, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I hopefully no one will ever play back this podcast be like it was prophetic <laughs> you know he was a prophet he was a prophet he, he knew he, he was going he he, he, he prophetized his <laughs> own death <laughs> he knew it he predicted it That's so uh but i don't think it'll I happen i predicted something before what's that and uh so i i've talked maybe twice or a few times on this podcast about how i have oh random visions right mm -hmm. like i'll just have like yeah. a little blurp of the future yeah. or some shit okay. and uh this one time i remember filming a video with a bird, right? Uh -huh. I was like, what the fuck? Why am I filming a video with a bird, right? I mm -hmm. tell you about it. I'm like, dad, I just had this weird vision where I'm filming with a bird. What the fuck is that about? A few years later, guess where I'm at? Bird town. Bird town. Filming bird with town. Eric yeah. when I have this, vi when I have this like, um, deja vu, deja vu. Back yeah, back yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh I'm my like, gosh, I had seen this before. I stopped and I was like, dude, this is the fucking 
vision the video, that yeah. I had two years ago. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, so I guess what I, why I brought it up was because you were saying how you may be perf- uh, ha- being like you're like a prophet of your death or whatever. Yeah. Potential. Mm. Okay, basically, doom. what I'm saying is doom. you could fucking die from a blick mumba. I like could. Mamba. I could. Uh, so don't. My energy person says that I'm psychic. Oh. That's dope. I want her to yeah. fucking. And we have psychic people in our family. Mom, dude, mom and I are psychic. We just had a telepathic conversation <laughs> 10 minutes before the fucking thing. <laughs> I have my quesadilla, right? I'm eating this quesadilla. quesadilla. <laughs> she comes around the corner. I, she, I look in her eyes and I can read her eyes telling me, can I have a bite of that quesadilla? I look at her and I go, no. But <laughs> all in my mind, I'm like, no. And then she just walks past and I go, mom. Were you about to ask me for a bite of my quesadilla? She was like, yeah, and you said no. <laughs> and I was like, wow, we're fucking telepathic yeah, right yeah, here. That's so good. It's possible, I guess. Um, <laughs> or we just know each other that we read each other very well. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's he probably He already it. knew what I wanted. I already knew what he was going to say. It's kind of like. We just didn't it, have to have the yeah, conversation. I don't, I don't wanna, yeah. yeah, I don't want to say I'm psychic when I go to Lori and go, can I get a King Cobra? And she says no. I know she's going to say no. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. like, I knew she was going to say no. <laughs> I could tell she was going to say no. I must be psychic. I must be psychic. I don't know. I mean, we're probably what the fuck all is psychic. This? What is her name? Angelica? Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah, that was close. Roxanne. What is she telling you? Why? What? What's your psychic ability? She says you're she psychic. Say, yeah, Did I, she I, read she, your cards? No, I don't do that. That opens the devil up. Remember what <laughs> Brother Clint said? Opens the devil. Dude. Remember what Brother Clint said? Um, No. So what is your psychic ability? I Just don't kind know. of. Because I feel like... I think I can talk to animals. I'm like Dr. Doodlittle. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle. I can like see the that. like Dr. Doodlittle of... of but the like room. Dr. Do too much. They don't you talk don't back talk, to me. You don't talk good to dogs. I no, I'm that not too. a dog. No. I like. They I don't like. Listen to I you. like. Listen, I like dogs, but I am not a dog no. person. Uh uh-uh. uh You know, I've so never you're more been a dog. Related. Related. Well, reptile. I like big cats and stuff like that. Yeah, too. there's definitely and, other animals. And, yeah, other animals, but <laughs> it's not that I, don't, I love our dogs and no, I love I all dogs. Oh, we know that. But I'm not like like I I I gotta say if I if if I didn't have a family and I was alone, right? I don't know that I'd have a dog. I think I might have a cat. Weirdly enough. Interesting. I see you. And I've never had a cat before in my life. But I like cats. Mm -hmm. I agree. So I think I might be a cat person. I think that... um, I might have 20. 20? (laughs) That sounds sounds more... Because you'd be alone. That would be pretty on brand, though, too. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because there's not another me. So if he didn't have me, he'd be alone. Come here, little feety. I want one of those ones that has uh, the spots like the anaconda. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ocelots oh, or whatever. Or the, oh, believe the An ocelot. He wanted, he wanted ocelot. To get We're playing a Minecraft over here. <laughs> get the ocelots, dude. I, I, uh, yeah, but can I tell my burn finger story? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Of course, please. Please do. The All right. This, fan, and this is the really, fans want it because that's why they're here to listen to you, the star. They are, they are tell your story. Yeah, it's, it's mainly because of my radio, uh, Prominence. <laughs> uh, that, uh, I'll shut up and let you tell the story. Go ahead. Well, you can. You can <laughs> listen after I'm done telling it. You can talk, but not not before then. <laughs> so this is this is educational though too. It's not just it's, it, it's. And by the way, we gotta get to some super chats in a second. It's all good. Um, this is. Let's get to some super. I'm gonna. Wait, you're you're like, oh, Ooh, cliffhanger. Oh, oh, John Bronner says, uh, in your travels this fall is Phoenix on your agenda. Would yes. love to see you yes. at PHS. Yes, it, and PHS is definitely uh, Phoenix Archaeological yeah. Society. Yeah. Okay. So, absolutely, would love to do that. Reach out when to us. Uh, uh, just email Lori. And no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> at PHS. No. <laughs> oh, sh- you gotta stop. They're, they're putting <laughs> it together. Yeah, they're they're putting it together. I'll never put that shit together. <laughs> uh, so uh, yes, Phoenix is on on the list. It is sure. on the list. Yeah. So we're uh, and we I do have to start planning because you realize that's like sixty mm-hmm. less than like fifty something days away. I know from uh, departure. Yeah, we should Beautiful. probably talk about it this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we will. Next week. So, yeah, yeah, yeah next we'll talk week. about this week next week. Yeah. 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 But we'll yeah. talk about talking about it this week. Yeah, yeah we yeah, started we'll, the talk that will we'll start the conversation next week. Yes, please. Uh, Christine says, hi, guys. Hey, I hope Christy. you had a fantastic birthday, Brian. I'm ashamed that I haven't caught the last few podcasts, busy with work and all my animals, but I'm hoping to get back to checking in. Uh, well, wow. Welcome Thank back. so much, Christine. Thank and you. by welcome the way, back. she's been posting some bangers on this Samboas, man. Holy. Got some Sanders? Man. What kind of Sandies we looking about? I'm telling you what, we... Please sell us some of your Samboas, please. Kenyans, those are the orange. They're Kenyans, yeah. but they are 
gorgeous ones. I mean, gorgeous ones. And are they like I a morph or something, or they're just yeah, really yeah, pretty she's examples? Yeah, got like, all, yeah, like bright. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Like Almost the, like pastels or Yeah, like or something. Splash and Paradox. I don't mm. even know what she has, but but they're beautiful. They're they're ridiculous. Yeah, they don't beauty. even look like Kenyans. They're that beautiful. Wow. You know, so, nice. yeah, so we need some of her. I met hers. someone from Kenya the other day. Really? Did you? And yeah, you and I was just like, where? At the like, coffee shop? I was, yeah, I was like, where the hell is your, your accent? It's so beautiful. Kenya. And I was like, what the fuck? I've never met anyone from Kenya <laughs> yeah, that's before. Awesome. If you go to, to New York, that's there's tons of Kenyan, yeah. Kenyan you don't guys. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. When you, like, that's not... <laughs> it was a dude. I wasn't trying to beat oh, on him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just trying to say, no, there's nothing wrong, wrong with that, that if you want to do that, man. Yeah, it's I'm fine. We're going to support you. We're rushing out of Kenyan. We're going to support you. blow me out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. All right, Sharon then. says, happy birthday, Brian. Hope you had uh, one. Hell, a great one. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. It was, it was, uh, it was a good birthday. It was a good birthday. It was it's an great. uneventful birthday. It was a good birthday. It was yeah, good. It's, it's what you wanted. It's exactly what you said you wanted. Yeah. Which was just a normal day. Yeah. You know, we just had a normal day. We were open to the public. Uh, we did have some pizza afterwards, which was nice. and. No, it was, a, it was a good day. And I mean, cake. truth be told, I was a little anxious that day for some reason. Um, I, You know, there was some family issues as well that probably caused some of that with my mother, yeah. um, which she's doing better now, so we won't get into that story. But um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, but it was it was a good day to, to spend with people. Heck yeah. You know, it was, it was good. Yeah, it, it was, was nice. Um, Boss Hams says, I say it every week. Send feet pics to Scales and Things. Scales and Things. Boss feet pics. Yeah, go to, everyone go to Instagram. Please. You write now. a picture of your foot. Only if you have toe jam. <laughs> yeah, and send it to at Scales and Things. At Scales and Things. At Scales and Things on Instagram. On he loves them. He does. He lives for them. <laughs> um, okay. Let me see. We got uh, Heavenly Knees in the building. Knees, 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 Just knees. sending some love. Oh, thank you, Nice. Miss you, Heaven. Yeah, thank you. I saw Bless you, uh, you. She was Heaven. one of the first comments on my video I posted. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. There you she's go. always a uh, top fan. She's awesome. Yeah, Appreciate she is that. the best. She, no, she's always so supportive. I hope that she can come when this uh, whole quarantine is over. She can come and uh, hang out with us. Quarantine. Uh, Mark what? says, so proud of, you, uh, of Lori with salt and yes, oh, VIPC, okay. LOL. Oh, yes. so that came out, huh? Yeah, yes, that, that was, was, that was it. it was good. I, I, I was watch. so busy, I didn't yeah, read you any go back. comments you know at all. Guess did what? you read comments at what all? What did I say? I oh, said, yeah, I we got to approve. Yeah, I, I, we got to have her yeah, approve yeah, vlogs. Yeah, oh, Jay. 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 I forgot. It's yeah. been a long weekend, you know. So that was today? It's Wednesday. Yeah, that was today. All right, I, gotta I didn't read any of the comments because we were busy with the radio. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I don't know if I told you that I'm a radio star. I got to see. I heard something about this. I got to see how you edited that. Oh, it came out great. You're yeah, gonna love did it. he look like the asshole he was? What happened? I thought he looked like an angel on there. <laughs> so I put little, was, I put little wings very on him. He edited that because you were being a dick, is what she was. Why? No. Why? Why? The Jews. What, what do you why? mean? What part of being Even a dick Bruce was? said. What? He's, he said, why is he having you having me go through that door because that's the door she gets well, fed at well, not me, the door she comes out okay of. well let me just tell you something you're the one that went to that door i went to no. the other door no that's I was true standing that's at true the door. i went to the other door it's true and then you went to that door no i didn't well, you're the, the one who went and opened that door that's because you were standing by it. No, I wasn't. I was standing over <laughs> here. She swam over there, and then you went and opened that door. Because she swam over there because she wanted to eat. Yeah, and then you're like, come on over here. <laughs> you're going to learn how to do it. That was crazy, though. Just do it. You didn't even show me or anything. You were such a you, jerk. You, you, you've been around alligators long enough. you got to no, know how to pick them I, up. I don't. I, I don't the go trick around is, gators. Um, I have no interest. To not get bit. No, exactly. the trick is to don't you know hesitate how? and don't go for the neck. Don't go. No, <laughs> don't, don't neck. You don't neck them. Yeah, you right. fucking neck them and tail them. <laughs> no. Robbie taught me. Yeah, yeah well, that's right. right. You jump on their back and you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I no. would like to. No, no. I wouldn't. Right. I would like to, but he would torture the fuck out of me. And I know he would. Robbie, like I would love to spend a a day or two at his place, you yeah. know, no longer than that. Cause you will <laughs> die. Yeah. But like, yeah. you know, he is like a, a man child still. He'll punch you in the sack. He right does, when you get there. He like he's sack that. Oh my, not sack tap, bro. He sack fucking spikes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he hit me so hard last time. I took like a three minute recover, oh like my God. recuperation. <laughs> like, whoo, had to yeah. get my balls out my stomach. No, but, is, um, yeah. 
He's a good dude. He, he's got a lot of knowledge in that. <laughs> he sounds uh, like a great dude. <laughs> he's got a lot of knowledge in that dome. He does. He's been oh, around a lot. He yeah. also speaking. He so was another you, girl. He was another that. one that dressed a like girl? a girl and, <laughs> and worshipped oh, the devil. Yeah, dude. He had a band yeah. called Crayola. Of course he did. <laughs> really, Crayola. Crayola was the name of his band. Crayola. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, what? What? No. I would name what mine want? Ethanol. I was gonna say, what is wrong with guys? So what? what is your reaction? Like, I know it hurts, but literally, it's you, horrible. You just get smacked in the nads, and you just turtle. There's no well, response. Let me tell you, let There's me no tell you. payback. You can't, you can't respond. respond. You can't respond. You drop. It's like kryptonite. It's Mom, like kryptonite. You. I don't know. I don't. There isn't even a thought. If I get you hurt, my balls. reaction is to re hurt the person you, or whatever hurt me. But you don't have Period. balls. So there's a reason why they teach little girls, hey, if a fucking pedophile comes up, if a six year old dude sack, comes up, yeah, right, yeah. because it drops you. There's nothing mm. you can do. I don't know yeah. what it is. Well, even when you get it's, up, so there's no like paybacks. There's well, no at that whatever. point, everyone's laughing and no. it's a, it turns. Yeah, then into you a joke. become then you become yeah. kind of addicted. Do you remember? Depends. Do you remember what the scenario? First, remember the first time I met Yuka Dutz and you were with me, right? Or were yeah. you with me? Yeah, it he, was. he did me. The, did, he did me the balls. Remember he did your ball. That. He did you on yeah, the balls. He did yeah, my he balls. Did. He did your balls real well. <laughs> he took care of my balls really well. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he fucking waxed those babies. <laughs> no, he did. He just I'd never met the dude, man. He walk up to him and he just whacks me in the balls. Yeah, and he goes, "Now you're a Dutson." <laughs> and so at that point, I'm not going to be like, I'm going to punch him back. I'm like, yeah, I'm a Dutson. <laughs> yeah. you know? and, ja, ja, but I said it a little higher. I was like, I'm a Dutson. So I, I guess I'll try to explain to you because like, she literally doesn't have a sack. It's hard to saying? describe the it's, feeling. It's not that hard. You get hit in the sack, immediately uh, your stomach drops, right? There's a, this pit in your stomach like uh, you ate a bad sushi roll and you're about to throw up, right? So you got that. Y your breath is gone. <gasps> Right, you, you you lost your breath. All right, mm -hmm. your voice is high. The pain in the in in the genitals. All right, is tremendous. Yeah. Ten out of ten pain. Right. Yeah. All oh, ten out of ten. Yeah. Especially if and they I've get had it right. Stones, yeah. Ten out of ten. Uh, and then you're laying there with this reverberation that's vibrating out of yeah. your sack. It takes it's, a while. It's like an aura. Uh, 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 imagine looking at the sun and seeing the waves from the sun coming at the earth. This is the that's, most thing. <laughs> that's your this balls. is really good, honestly. <laughs> that's your balls <laughs> vibrating, the, just the waves of the pain. Just and vroom, I will tell vroom, you, vroom. this is the it's interesting, about three minutes. though, too. So the, the whole pain you're going through, there's no anger involved? No, no there's just, please save me, God. Recover. Please save me, God. It's just focusing oh. on recuperating. Uh, please save get me. Get my breath back. Get my balls back out. My stomach, <sighs> and I, I can tell like you the weirdest thing of, about I, I can't be believe we're get talking me. about getting balls hitting the ball so much. But the wor worst thing is, is that to be honest with you, you'd rather get punched in the balls than, 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 than flicked, barely flicked because that's worse. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the small ball to hit is, uh, is yeah, it's yeah, bad. especially, yeah, you're right. If they do get just one nut, just like a with click, the nail, the fingernail, the fingernail, bing. dude, it, okay, let's one move nut. on. Let's move so on. So, Jake some super Lewis says, hey, Jake happy, Lewis, what do you think about the ball? Good to know. He says, uh, happy late birthday, Brian. What kind of wine are we enjoying today, Lori? Oh, this, this, this is cool is as dope. hell, by it, the it way. Was, yeah, tell him the story. Yeah, so I found this at Sam's Club, it's called Phantom. Them, and it got me because I was like, this is a cool ass bottle. It is too. And the, the description sounded good mm -hmm. too. But I did not find out until I just opened it right before the podcast. This Phantom Wine has an app. Yeah. So you download that and then you scan the picture and mm. then it does some Animates, crazy yeah. shit too, which is actually It is unbelievably really cool. cool. It's unbelievably so cool. So you actually see the Phantom and some crazy shit. Yeah, and there's shit. like yeah. like stuff's moving around and I mean that that's, that's I was saying like bottle. we should put VR goggles on and drink. We should sell our snakes that way. Yeah. They could, like they'd move. Yeah. Maybe they move anyways. So yeah. It's a bad idea. But we can get stuffed maybe animal just, snakes. Maybe we just give them 3D glasses. Actually, yeah. there was a guy <laughs> reached out to me that, that wanted to do something similar in, in a shirt. He wanted to design mm. a shirt that the snake moved. Did you? I actually posted well, guess, this on TikTok. Wait actually. a second. No, oh. remember that shirt we got? Somebody yeah. had sent it to us where yep. you could see the body. That was like Rhonda. It opened that up. was Rhonda, yeah. Was yep. it Rhonda? Yeah, Rhonda did it, yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, similar yeah. thing to where it just yeah. did all the stuff. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, um, it's cool. Potterhead one. says, Brian, what do you fear more, venomous snakes or Lori? Oh, my God. Do we have to ask this? <laughs> no. Let's do a poll right now, and it, anyone that votes venomous snakes is a moron. You idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't fear venomous snakes at all. At zero. I have no fear of them at all. I respect them tremendously, but I don't fear them. You don't them. fear me uh, either. You just um, respect me tremendously. He's like, I fear you a bit. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what scale you're talking. One to ten. 
being depends tending, on what you're scared doing. out of my my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds right. Depends yeah. on what he's doing. It, it does depend on what I'm doing. Like let's just, let's say I was sneaking in a sloth next week Wednesday when it shows up. Let's just say, <laughs> as an example, uh, I'd be very fearful <laughs> of that day. I wouldn't sleep a couple nights before. But if I was Many like you know after. if I was like uh, up in the middle of the night eating crackers in bed, I probably wouldn't fear you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Oh, yeah. Don't eat. Is that something? Yeah, bed. that's a yeah. bad. I've done that many a nights. It never it's ends fuck. good. Yeah. Oh God. Don't Speaking smoke of bed, weed, kids. my gosh, that fucking dog of ours, uh, Zeus, Zeus. He was like in my face all night. He was like, You're welcome. he kept me up half the <laughs> night, man. He was like literally like his face is on my face. This is a hundred and something pound German <laughs> Shepherd, and literally I woke up to breath. Oh, oh my God, that's the worst, too. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's just been like, very lovey. Very, I've, been, I've been yes. breaking his little cuddle zone. <laughs> yeah, I, I get him good. Yeah. So, I, anyways, that that's yeah. But no, I don't. I don't fear Lori. He almost killed a <laughs> little doggy today. Oh my dog? God! Oh gosh! What you people? You responsible? All right. Yeah. Let's talk about these dog owners for a second. You people with your little fucking dogs. All right. You need to grow up. Get a bigger dog. Get all a, right. Or get a damn leash. Get a fucking leash. Don't let them out without a leash. For the past four, five days in a row, I hear the same thing in my backyard every time I'm chilling out there. <gasps> ah! Ah! Louie! Louie! Come back! Come back! I'm like, mm. oh great. Here comes that little fucking He's shit Shih Tzu again. Every yeah. time and straight to our fence with right our fence. two no. huge dogs. Yeah. Mm. Like losing their shit. And they're just like, uh, and I'm like, how? Like, okay, one time. This should happen. Dude, it's been like yeah. every day this week. I know. Week. So quit doing the same freaking thing. Like, yeah. you know that your dog is going to run and it's going to run to my yeah. fence. Guess what? Time two, time three, time five. I hope my dog eats your dog because yeah. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> I agree. Dog. No, I agree. Like, and you I deserve almost got, it. You deserve your you dog do. to be eaten. I almost got bit yeah. this morning from Zeus because... He's trying to I, protect the dog. Well, I'm yeah. I'm tr A, I don't want that poor little dog to get bit. Because but that's through a fence. How's he going to be a bit? Oh, it's possible. Yeah, because and that the, stupid dog is going to the fence, the, the and he's head, right there. The head's so small. Yeah, I he bet it'd be like something if it literally, like Zeus grabbed his head and just popped it right through the well, fence. I think it's a possibility off. because yeah. the head's so small it could fit through one yeah. of the chain links. Yeah. Oh, and so like just like a dope, and these stupid people. Yeah. Can't yeah. Control, if you can't control a dog that big, here's your dog back with legs. Here's your dog back. It's just the body. But no the, head. The lady, uh, she comes running over after a minute and a half of this fucking dog. I'm like, are you going to run over here or going to walk like you are, bitch? Jeez, you guys um, are angry. Hey, look at right. We're it's Polish annoying. and Italian. Sicilian. It's annoying. Sicilian. We're not Italian. The real Italians don't even accept us. No. They say, no, you're Sicilian. Yeah, they're like, eh, Guess let's what? Our mozz, are, our mozz is better our anyways. Mutz. And no. our cannolis got real cream. Cannolis are good, though. Cannolis are good in Sicily. I'm going to tell you guys about the, the bur burn. I'm going to tell you guys about my burn, but we're going to do a couple super chests first. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm going to wait till the last it's, it's minute. It's not even yeah. a good story. I know. It's, not no. a it's not at all a good story. But I'm going to tell you guys anyways. <laughs> Jake okay. Lewis says, uh, my mom's side of the family is spiritually sensitive. So, yes, so there you go. So See? there you go. I, that's Shout a out nice all my sensitives. It. Yeah. I, I think I'm spiritually sensitive. You're some sensitive. people are spiritually sensitive, sensitive, and then some people sensitive. are you emotionally are. sensitive, yeah. too. You yeah. know? The emotionally sensitive people. Yeah. I'm, some, people I'm are, too. some people are verbally sensitive. Mm. Like... Well, yeah, most of the people that watch your, <laughs> your, your vlogs are, are, no, <laughs> are not verbally sensitive. Yeah. Otherwise, they won't watch. Yeah. yeah. I had... um. One person, oh man, this was bad. On Choices podcast, I opened it up. Uh, hmm. I made a gay hmm. joke right off the rip, right? Hmm. All right, just leaning right into that. <laughs> bang bang, <laughs> trying to get a couple reactions out of that community, you know, hmm. get a little. And it worked. And it did. I saw a couple uh, comments. They're yeah. like, "I'm so sad." That you compared light beer to a lesbian drink. <laughs> I was just like, it's a fucking light beer. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. know. I yeah. don't know. That's that might be you a said a, Yeah, light beer to a lesbian drink. There's some. What do you I mean? don't. I really don't. Number one, I don't care what lesbians drink, and I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Barry and your son, dude. I, one, I definitely don't care about this. I know he might, but like, I no, definitely this don't. Is not something I like, was you just know. making a joke. I know. No, listen. And I'm assuming no. lesbians are like, 
you know, they Listen. some like hard beer, some like soft beer, <laughs> no, some like hard drinks. Wine. They do. I mean, I'm sure they're all this. No, they do. People, right? This is I gotta hilarious. get out of here. No, this is funny as fuck. Listen, so <laughs> I mean, it's not like right, like no, it's yeah, not like I'm it's sure. a different species. No, it's not a different species at all. <laughs> Just because you're lesbian, you're not all the same. <laughs> like? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. So this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so Bruce is sipping a light, like uh, hearted ale. Or something, so you right? called Bruce a lesbian. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I know. Okay. I was just messing around. <laughs> like, what are you? And for the record, when I drank, not that I ever drank a lot, I loved fruity Miller drinks. Miller Light. Oh. No, I was <laughs> never Miller Light. <laughs> I have Miller never drank a Miller Light a in my life. Miller Light and pumpkin pie. Dude. Oh, that was Miller your dad. That's yeah, right. it was my dad drank Miller Light. I <laughs> never drank a light beer ever, ever. I saved the pristine sign because he was a big Miller fan. Yeah. And yeah. his last name was Miller. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and that's why he liked Miller Light so much. He drank I saved this pristine Miller Lite sign, all right? Mm. I mean, it's, like, probably made in uh, mid-1900s, but <laughs> but I'm serious. It's so glossy yeah. and fresh. Like, Where's it at? Oh, it's a no, secret little hiding it's spot. It's in his room. No, yeah, it's in my room. <laughs> oh, okay. No, yeah, but I, no, I never drank that. But I like fruity drinks. Like, I remember on our honeymoon... We what had, uh, what did we get? have? What was that drink that got me hammered? Mai Tai. Mai Tai. Oh, yeah, Yeah, dude. like I got a Mai Tai. <laughs> I only drank one. Yeah, room. I drank one, and Holy literally shit. I couldn't even get well, on the elevator. Was like, oh. Back in the day, because that was Yeah, I was never a drinker. Something. I never was very good and, at drinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's they hard. Hooked, they hooked it's really hard. hard. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of work have to build the tolerance. Like, oh, yeah, and it's not even a good tolerance to build because it's legitimately poison. Yeah. No, for real. It's So you're building a tolerance to poison. So mm. you're just slowly killing yourself. That's a conversation we want to have. No, let's keep moving on with some super chats. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow, Arrow, what's up? Says I blame you. Thank I used you. to be terrified of snakes. Now right. I have two hog noses that oh, I love. It's your it. fault. I am oh taking you know the complete responsibility you, right? for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's venomous. venomous. Yeah, it's, I blame you when I dead from the hog. Nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll take that blame all day long. You know, I love that. You know what that reminded me of? What's what? that? Uh, so one time I was in the basement. This is a Friday filming the Choices podcast, right? It just yeah. wraps up. So I'm coming upstairs. It's live reptarium hours. Mm. Right when I open the door, I'm met with a finger in my face and hockey player. Right? What? I know, right? I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? I guess he saw my hair and was just like, hockey player. Like, that so was the it. first thing that came out of his mouth. And that huh. just reminded me of that. Because I'm like, dude. <laughs> He's like, I blame you. I blame you. I'm like, dude, what's what's going on in that little peanut brain of yours? That's all that you're thinking? Hockey, hockey, hockey player. player. Hockey players that do have good flow. Well, I mean, what a guess, though. Like, yeah, he really guessed right. right. He got right. me. But yeah, like, so he, he so me, obviously your haircut was a hockey haircut. Yeah, but like, what, that's all flow. that's going on. It's what, a flow, man. You got to have the flow to play. It's true. You probably had a red wing. Toyota Prius. You probably had a red wing shirt on or something. Yeah, yeah that, that's true too. Joe uh, Joe Fitz says, "I hope you and your family are well, and thank you for your positivity. It really helps. Love the daily videos every morning. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you. I what was his name? Joe? Joe? Joe Fitz. Hey, Joe Fitz. Joe Fitz. Thank you, Joe. Thank Seriously, he's obviously talking Where's about Fitz? you and the positivity. So. I try to be positive. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm I super do the best positive. I can do. I'm Don't positive. kill yourself. I'm positive too. That <laughs> shit sucks. But go ahead. Yeah, she's Next. positively upset <laughs> at life. Uh, mock turtle soup says Ooh, I've always I loved like Titan the retic. Is he still around? If so, can you show him on the vlog? Thank you. He is, but he's a jerk. He is you a know, big he, meanie he, he pants. Likes, he likes to bite people. Yeah, um, he is full of. He P needs. He needs to find a new home. Not because we don't love him, but just because we're not doing anything with him. And I would rather someone else work with him, whether it's breeding or or, or just keeping him or something like that. He's so beautiful. Uh, he's you a know? beautiful. I've snake, never yeah. agreed with you more. No, we need. Let's to, end got, it here. We've got a handful. <laughs> we've got a handful of uh, info retics. at BHP Reptiles. Now she'll give out her email address. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a handful. We've got maybe four or five retics that aren't at the Reptarium that we we really would like to find new homes for. Yeah. You know, because they deserve to, to, to have, you know, somebody that works with them. I mean, we work yeah. with them all the time, but, but you know. Personal, like, a, yeah. they're a smart animal. They, they're a they, smart they animal, to have yeah. A, a, and, an and, owner. And we don't have a, yeah, we're just, like Lori said. We're, no, Lori's, we Lori has a, said no more retics at the retic reticarium. Reticarium. Yes, it's Although horrible. I want a pied retic, but that's a whole other story. Yes, it is. I, I sometimes get a broken heart. Broken heart. Yeah. Okay. How about all right. work on getting we rid want, of the other ones We all first. want lots of things. Do we? That is true. I want to fucking challenge your wide body red eye. 
Does anyone have one out there that they can give us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of which, my truck is, uh, oh, did you send, uh, maybe I should talk about this off this air. Did you send that transfer by any chance? I did not. I'm okay, sorry. we got to send a transfer. Uh, so we bought the, the bones of our truck. The low rider? Well, it's not going to be I a know, low know, rider. It's just going to be a custom do, truck. Right. Uh, do, so I'm pretty excited about it. So we have a lot of projects <laughs> going on. I've got my the, the truck being built. We obviously have the podcast room in the basement being done. Also have both my motorcycles being worked on. I showed You've you just the got so much going on. No, we have a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, expect do. some sweet ro- drive-in B-roll for the yeah, next yeah, yeah, Potentially yeah. working on the hot rod. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, right. is that a real thing? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But since the there's potential. so much other stuff, we're keeping that on the back burner. All right. So yeah, they got, got a car we might be fixing up, too. But, yeah, who dude, knows? Dude, life's fun. Yeah, dude. Life rips, dude. Life's a blast. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Ron says, uh, hello to you all. Brian, are you going to do vi- uh, daily vlogs while on your trip? Yeah, hundred percent. That's kind of the whole idea of the trip is to yeah. kind of yeah. Th- this isn't like a vacation. Yeah, no, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> we don't oh. take no he time doesn't off. do that. We don't take no time off. So you know, <laughs> the thing is, is that uh, as a daily vlogger, it's very difficult because, especially uh, let's even go one step further. A daily vlogger during COVID is pretty difficult. Yeah, because you're limited to where you can go and what you can do and who can visit, and you know, so when we're let's say cutting eggs. You know, for us, it might be exciting every single clutch we cut because we might get this this cool animal, that cool animal, whatever. But, you know, to the casual person that's watching the vlog, there's yeah. not a huge difference between, like, a banana yeah. enchi, sinny, woma, or a banana oh, sure. if I spider. was watching your vlog as me not knowing anything about snakes... Yeah, so my point is is that, it, you know, I know that this happens every year. Like, in the beginning of the production <laughs> season, everyone yeah. is stoked. Everyone's like, oh, egg cutting or, like, baby snakes. And then, you know, as we get, you know, three months into it all, people start going, like, oh, it's become really repetitious, you yeah. know, and stuff like that. And we start to even see our numbers drop on our views and, and, and comments and, and likes and stuff like that. So so we so need to— So that's when you started doing other things, like juggling and doing other things with the yeah. eggs to try to just yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, which yeah. one am I going to drop? Shoot it with an arrow off yeah, my head. Yeah, look at what happens when I throw this against the... No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> using the table saw to yeah. cut my head. <laughs> Blow torch. Yeah. Does this work? Uh, Hot knife challenge, <laughs> cutting the eggs. Oh, that's actually a good idea, actually. That's not a bad idea. Uh, remember the hot knife challenge? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, the hot knife challenge was awesome. Dude. Speaking of the hot knife, I'm going to tell you guys how I burnt myself soon. But, uh, uh, but nice. uh, So we're going to travel... <laughs> We're going to travel uh, so that we can get some just out of the thing content. And so the deal is it'll be, first off, it'll be uh, Noah, Anthony, Jay, myself, and then Max Strong might come along with us for a bit. Hell yeah. Uh, which will really be dope. And uh, and so we'll be filming at least a, an animal place every day that we stop along the way. Mm-hmm. Noah's going to be filming kind of the real hijinks and hilarity behind the scenes of what's going on. And we'll do some of that as well. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, So it's going to be kind of like a, a, you get five guys together and you travel across country in a in, in, in I'm not going to get a, a luxury RV. No. I want to get kind of a shitty one. Oh, yeah. Because I think it'll be fun. fun. I want to be a fun one. Like as a, long as it drives well. Like a 1974 in Winnebago. Something yeah. like you know that. What the fuck no, is no seat belts. You guys you are guys doing no. Suck. You're doing a fucking no. cargo van probably, with a mattress in the oh, back. Cargo no. van with a mattress. <laughs> Anthony <laughs> literally <laughs> had that already, so <laughs> really don't good. tell him that because he'd be down. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, I'm not even sure I want to have heat or air. Stove. You I, yeah, I don't even think I want. We're just gonna get bicycles and we're gonna ride across. This fucking guy doesn't leave the house for a year, and all of a sudden's like, let's leave in the worst vehicle possible. Yeah, we're gonna do like horrible time. Probably not gonna have AC or heat. Yeah, well, what? You know the stove. You know how they have. Have stoves. I want it to be a little propane stove. You, you, you like use at the campfire. Um, yeah, Anthony so has one. It's okay, jet, cool. jet fuel. We, then we yeah. don't even need a stove. Yeah. In it. We'll just, we'll just we'll bring, <laughs> we'll bring our own. That's what it's called. Fuel. Yeah, we'll just bring our own. Uh, no, I'm going to probably get a decent one. To be honest with you, I need to. <laughs> if ride there's luxury. five guys in there, there's got to be at least five Three beds. bathrooms. No, five no, beds. Listen, what? Let me let me just talk about this for a second. What do you mean the bunk beds? Can, can dude, we, have you seen that? Can we talk about this for one second? I I do have one ground rule. What is that? If there's no a pooping. bathroom in there, you can pee, but there's no, no number pooping. two. No number twos in my, my Winnebago. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, where am I going to go? We'll you, stop at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because always I'm the I'm not going to be in a small pl- yeah, place. I'm You're not right. doing that with You're five right. guys. <laughs> that's fine. 
<laughs> and, you guys, know, for half, guys, the, half the trip, I'm going to have to have a gas mask on. <laughs> well, we just got respirators dropped off. That works yeah, out great. Yeah. <laughs> so, what if all right. we have, like, a girl? Right. What if there's a girl in there? Can the girl poop? Well, we're not going to have a girl. girl. Have, girls don't not poop. Be we're not girl. picking up any girls, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not picking up any strippers along wanna, the way. It's not a no. wanna bango. <laughs> there's a difference between strippers and girls, all right? Those are women, all right? There's a fine Those are hard line. Women of the women. night. There's what, a fine what, line. Where, where exactly are we picking up girls and what per? I mean, you know, I don't like know. What? Open up the Instagram DM, DMs, baby. They flow. No, no. <laughs> they stay I, flowing. I, I think that the, I think you're going to be disinvited. Didn't we just have this conversation? You're going to be uninvited. Those to are the, not the ones that you want to flow Jesus. with. Jesus. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry. Josh <laughs> says, uh, Lori, the Walking Dead wine also has an app. Did you hear the there Walking Dead is on its last season? They're canceling it. Jeez, it's, it's been still going. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. I feel like it's been since I've been in like yeah, elementary been can- school. That show's yeah, been on. It's, it's been canceled. I'm, I'm not for a long scared time. of zombies anymore. I, they love, obviously I guess. Can survive. I guess. I guess the fear of The Walking Dead is now the one that everyone likes. What's that? It's like it's like an offshoot of the comic. Oh, cool. The fear of The Walking Dead. It's just a different cast, similar things. I've never watched it. I watched the first like I think two and a half seasons of Walking Dead. I loved. And then I fell off. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I think they're on like season four, eleven. If I'm yeah, that's taken. crazy. We were yeah, huge fun. fans when it came out. Yeah, when it first came oh out, I actually God. watched. I remember being in Australia oh, yeah. and watching uh, a, an, an episode. And you like, had to like the whole, plan it out. You yeah, you like, had to plan it. Like you could not miss it, man. It was. Uh, it was. Yeah, a, an remember, event. dude, yeah. that was such a weird times. Like. We would have to be like, okay, it's Thursday. Yeah. Saturday at 7 p.m. It was Sunday at 8, actually. Sunday, Sunday at 8, 8 yeah. then we have to yeah, cause we, make sure we we're there. We did not have the DVR or no. the VCR. We didn't You record. know what other yeah. one we used to do? Oh, my God. What's I'm about that? to bring a blast from the past to your mind, baby. Downstairs in the big, big TV we used to have. We get it all oh, we still pimped have that. out, right? We'd all get it's it all. There. It's still get there. It's still there. A little popcorn, a little blankies, all, all right, that. Let's get what to it. Let's <laughs> and then we'd watch it. What is it? Deal or no deal. Oh, that was good. Deal would, or no deal was good. Yeah, We yeah. used to do that all the time. We'd yeah. plan it out, Jade, yeah. you and I, and then we'd all sit there as a family oh, okay. watching It was deal the Holly no Mandel, deal. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I, I was thinking of a different show. And you know what's so crazy about one? life is like, we what did that. that, you're right, but yeah. yet we hung out with Howie Mandel. Yeah, How, me and how you crazy is that? At a coffee shop. Well, and then we went back to his, his apartment. Oh, yeah, Remember, we were did. in his condo for like hours. And he was super cool, too. Yeah. He was super cool. He treated me like he knew me my whole life. Yeah, he was. Wow, How he's awesome. a super cool guy. His son uh, is, is awesome as well. Yeah. And we hung his out at his son's. His wife was amazing. Oh, she was super cool, I too. I never yeah. even knew how he had a wife. Yeah, we put a tarantula on his head. I mean, it was yeah. awesome. It was, it was a stuff. great fucking Lots time. We had amazing submarine sandwiches. Yeah, that's right. We had a nice sandwich with Howie. I mean, yeah, this it was. Uh, it's just weird how life. These memories. Yeah, yeah it's weird how this cool. uh, how this, <laughs> the world takes. Crazy you how in. life is, isn't it? Yeah. But it no, is he is a good dude. Now he's a big TikToker. <laughs> really? That dude has got it Crushing, going on, man. Yeah. He is like that dude has got like I mean, my gosh, that he's a worker, man. Between he Most does like two hundred. Well, he yeah. did. He used to do two hundred shows a year. Really? Comedy sure. shows around the country, two hundred comedy doing shows a year, else, and yeah. he did like Deal No Deal. He did, you know, wasn't he on America's like America's Got Talent? Got Talent? He's got, I mean, he had like five shows going. He, he was, was like fun. a rock, the Rock. Yeah, he exactly. Like, yeah. And, and, and I mean, he's cr- now he's like I said, now his TikTok is amazing. I, uh, so aspire to be. Aspire to be. No, he's he's good. Just okay, grind, grind. He is. Uh, that's a beautiful man. Boss Ham says Noah, look into Deja Reve, not Deja Vu. Deja Reve, R E V E. I don't know how to I'll have to look at. I'll, have to I'll look it up after Never this Never heard show. of it. Yeah. Rosie Johnson says, "Hey guys, thanks thank for you. the entertainment and distraction tonight. Hope all is well there. You are all awesome. I well, love you, Thank you, you so Rosie. much, yeah, thanks, Rosie. Rosie. Rosie's a, a whole lot of name. Rosie. A whole lot of Rosie. Rosie. That's a song, right? A whole lot of Rosie. Sure, it is. I could look yeah. it up for you. A whole lot of Rosie. I bet. I think Drake I know what in you're uh, about. isn't it? Drake sings that. It's an old song. Is it ACDC? Might be. Might be. Might be ACDC. I think Drake and Rick Ross sing that. Oh, whole lot, of, whole lot of cups of the rose. No, no. That's, rose. no that's the fucking. That's rose. It doesn't matter. I'm singing the right song. <laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> rose. I mean, you could call Rosie Rose. Cups of the rose. Okay, let's that's move on. <laughs> <laughs> We've Rob, done enough of this. <laughs> Robin Lee says, uh, "Hey, I bought my first ball python from you a year a year ago. Today, I have nine. Thank you for helping me face oh, my fear. Awesome. Another victim of Brian nice, Barchak. Thank you. I, again, I am t- corrupting the world one person yes, at a time. You are. Yeah. Well, and, if until we, everyone doesn't have ten snakes, I will not rest." Yeah. 
The population. It happened to me too. That's the fucked up part. Christians would call you the devil. I am. I am the devil. Yeah. I'm sure he's part of the Antichrist. No, 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 no. (laughs) Don't tell the people that, Mom. (laughs) Jesus Christ, you're leaking all the news. (laughs) No. We get Reverend Clint back out here. Yeah, I could use Reverend (laughs) Brother Clint. (laughs) Some exercise. I could exercise. My fire (laughs) target. Exercise the exercise. (laughs) Speaking of exercising, gym's open. Gym's open in Michigan, so that's good. Yeah, I, uh, nice. I heard, I don't remember who was talking, oh, Broadway was talking about it, because they were about to have some dude that had Planet Fitnesses on. Oh, so right before okay. we left, uh, they were talking about it, how oh, they had okay. lines like around the block. Oh, I told him that. Yeah. I was like, I feel so bad for the people, because, yeah, how, how does that work with the limited thing that and everybody wants to Yeah, it's 25% to capacity, and you have to wear a mask the whole time. Oof. Who is doing treadmill, like running cardio know. with a I'm mask on? I'm not going to lie, all I want are the tanning beds. So yeah, but you'll have a big mask thing on. You'll you have a big mask thing. It'll be burning tan. to your face. It'll be well, melting no, you your won't. face. You're in Take your own off. private room. No, it Bingo. said, I read it. It no, said, it if didn't. you tan, you're, you... I know, a, you're I, a I liar. Know. I am a liar. <laughs> shut, shut, I guarantee you tanning beds aren't going to be open. Tanning beds aren't going to be open. That's a lie. You just made that up. It's the I don't only believe safe that. Why that wouldn't they be? Because guess what? I do the stand-up one, so there is no touching, laying on. It's not, it didn't like even that. matter. The lights yeah. evaporate. And any- honestly, you're supposed mm. to. You got the sanitizer that was already in there, anyways. To yeah, wipe but I don't all use stuff that down. stuff. I don't use sanitizer. You don't use. You don't use tanning. I don't even shit. wash. I don't even take a shower. I know because you're a dirty must, motherfucker. <laughs> that's the must we're smelling right now. I know. Yeah. That's it. See, ding ding yeah, ding. I, I even woke up. I had to get. Yo, know, you might have known. I do a radio show now. Um, no, oh my I had God. no idea. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat but, uh, that? Yeah. Where? So I had to wake up extra early, <laughs> and I still took a what shower. Time? <laughs> what time? What time? Six thirty. And I still took a shower. I know, because I tried to wake you up at quarter to Bruh. six because I couldn't remember what time you had I know, you woke you up like an up. hour early. I know, I know, You're like, what said. time do you wake up? And I'm like, an hour from now. <laughs> he said, what? make sure to wake me up, but I couldn't remember what, what he time? said. What time? But the messed minute. up Wait, thing. Wait, we yeah. can't pass on this. Why are you bragging about taking care of your hygiene? Because you guys made it sound like I didn't take a shower when I made a joke about not taking a shower. Oh. I don't want people to believe that I don't take a shower. Okay. Nobody they cares. Can't believe they that love you no matter what you do. If you have a stinky ass or not, they don't care. They don't sure. care? No. no, they don't. Some people actually prefer a stinky ass. Yeah, people bring their stinky ass everywhere. You know that. I mean, I That's don't, disgusting. but some people do. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the with this uh, tanning salons, there's a there's a bunch of different answers, so it's hard oh, to tell. But it seems like it's being listed under the same type of uh, provenance of like uh, nail salons, massage, and tattoo Oh, so parlors. you can do it then. Yeah, you can do tanning salons. So, Guess what? You can do anything. Well, I'm not going to a but salon. Like, I just It's part of my yeah. planet. Fitness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is they got the well, I, I had a uh, a gym membership which I got to cancel, by the way. Um, that only. Years later. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, for real? <laughs> I only had it for their sauna. That how, was all. But how long have you had the? No, gym? only like two years. Oh, okay. Okay. Because uh, we go to another gym. We go to a gym that's a trainer gym, and then I have a <laughs> Planet Fitness uh, membership, and I had this other gym membership. Nice. So I have three gym memberships, but. I hardly, the only reason we have hardly Planet Fitness them, is because though. if we're traveling, which we don't anymore, we could go to Planet Fitness anywhere. Yep. Uh, the other one was just for their sauna. So and now that I have our sauna, I don't need it. Yeah, I use the basketball court. But for me, all I did was go there and, yeah. and, and so do the sauna. So I need to cancel call that. that this week yeah, I get that. I'm, and I'm assuming their sauna is not going to be open, anyways. But I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't go to it anyway, because why would I want to go to a sauna with a bunch of stinky guys when, when you have got one in, in the backyard? Yeah, naked, stinky ass. Stinky naked. Guys, yeah. stinky naked guys. Yeah. No, there no one was naked in there. Stinky na- naked. Uh, no one was naked. Lebanese men. There were some Lebanese men, but they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. They weren't naked. They always fucking carry in a fucking shish kebab, and they're just like, <laughs> no, just eating no, on no, this no. fucking shish kebab. And I'm no, like, dude, not. you're we're in the locker room, and you're eating a falafel. What the fuck's your problem? Yeah, that did. It was a. It was interesting. It's I don't know where crazy. they came, came from. Little, little Leb- Lebanon over here. <laughs> little Lebanon. I know. I'm just, yeah. I, I gave a guy a. Pro- hey, listen, we love the Lebanese recipe. though. Yeah, we employ. You know, we employ. Lebanese. We employ. Dude, them. I. Who Not doesn't them, love? <laughs> who doesn't love any everyone? I know. If you don't love, I don't love everyone. everyone. I don't love everyone. I love no, most people. No, okay. no, like no. Listen. Okay. Who doesn't love anyone? Everyone. Like honestly, though. <laughs> like of every people that are. We I can't don't, even get into it. I don't we can't not even get into like it. somebody because of their nationality. That's what I mean. I don't like somebody because there's an asshole. No, 100%. Yeah. So that's what I it doesn't, mean. Matter, yeah, what doesn't matter what you race you are, are no, if you're 100%. an asshole, Lori exactly. hates you. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's, that's fair. That's fair. Like, I've never, like, I've never looked at somebody and been like, 
oh, that person's Lebanese. Right. I fucking hate right. you. Yeah. Well, I will say, like, what? in all honesty, yeah. how do people default? Uh, to in that? all honesty, Lori in particular is probably the, the first person I met because I grew up in a very white area. You know, seriously. Gotcha. And Lori, you know, uh, did not. And um, and and you were you were one of those people that I was really surprised. Like you never have had a prejudice sit about anybody. Like I mean, like nobody. You've never. You, my whole life I've known you, you've never been that way towards any race or anything like that. And that's not, not, that's not everyone is that way is what I'm saying. True. You know what I mean? It's like, you've always been like really accepting of everybody. No, I don't have a problem unless who you, you are. are the problem. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, the, not any of the extenuating. But you were the first, what I'm yeah. saying is you were probably the first person I met that truly I didn't see any prejudice oh, in at all. Thank you. No, it's true. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, and hopefully, and you guys were raised hopefully, that way. I raised my kids that way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because, I, did, I only yeah. date black women. True. Uh, that well, is, that that's is, also that prejudice, is, That is also no, a no, no, that, that is prejudice. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not if that's what you're attracted to. Like, you know no, no, what I mean? I'm just I actually exactly. like all women. Yeah. Uh, yes. Fuck, dude. I, I wish I was Mormon. For that reason. Oh, shut yeah, Just a little taste of everything. Little, <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, that like, is not how you were raised. Stop. Mormon? <laughs> yeah. Auntie Papi. No, you're not getting multiple wives. Just stop. Sister oh. wife, sorry. There's nothing yeah. wrong with sister wife. I don't wife. know. No, I, there's a lot wrong with Wives of the sisterhood. <laughs> well, maybe that's my preferred religion. No, it's not. You don't even know what Mormonism exactly. is. You just you want the sex. You just want the women. Yeah. You just want well, the I want the options. Can we get rid of the, the religious you could part also just, just be like have the polyamorous? Yeah. You don't yeah, even yeah. need to be religious. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that yeah. might be another religion of just the sex <laughs> yeah, and the women. You never know. Right? Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> so you heard it here first. <laughs> Join the cult. Uh <laughs> Josh, uh, what would that be called? The culture cult? It know. could be called whatever you want if you start it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh says, Brian and Noah, I'm getting the ice in a couple weeks. Let's play some puck. And Brian oh. can get some anxiety relief. Uh, is he getting like a he's fake probably, ice rink? Is or he local? He's, he's probably, so this is what I would imagine. He probably is making his own little rink. No, 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 no. I think he's what renting, he the, he's renting the, uh, like renting ice from a rink. Oh. But uh, the question is, is he in Michigan? So reach out. If you're in Josh, Michigan and you're resting. Out. From what? I said just reach out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, reach out. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're renting ice in Michigan, we'll come play. Dude, yeah, literally any time. My skates are literally sharpened, ready to go right now. Yeah. So mine are know. probably not sharpened, but I can get them sharpened. Yeah. You know. Let's yep. go. Okay. And then our last one for right now is Let Roses Burn. She dropped fifty bucks. Whoa! Oh, said been a while. Yeah. Love you guys. Well, thank Jesus. you for, for you. Let Rose. Yeah, we miss you. Where you been? We miss you. Dude, that's uh, we awesome. saw, as a matter of fact, what was it? Was it were you downstairs yesterday? Or the day before when someone saw the oh the people that dropped off the table saw the, uh, the I, was, I didn't burn. hear them see it but uh, what, they what saw they it and they're like the oh Brian my gosh. doll yeah yeah they were like oh my god this is so dope that thing's gonna come the to Brian life doll yeah that's so uh, cool I can't wait till we have it in the gift shop you know what yeah, I yeah we're making them <laughs> we're gonna make them in, in I, the thousands I would love because now I do radio similar. yeah I would love something <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> like uh, do you guys remember the movie Toy Soldiers of course yeah yes I do because you watched it nonstop I know I would love like the main general or whatever with that crew cut like that uh that fucking ball the blonde guy you guys know what I'm talking about sure like a recreation of me of, as him as him oh that's cool as a doll I bet you it'd be pretty easy to do yeah you've never I had so. that haircut when that we cool? watched uh we watched uh, I know but like that's the point speaking of um army stuff. We watched, uh, well, Lori <laughs> fell asleep to, I should say, uh, Greyhound, which was a Tom Hanks yeah. movie about I'm World sorry, War II. That was just terrible. That was, that was so boring. Literally, the whole thing was them in the boat trying to find yeah. the submarines. submarines. Yeah, U boats. Like yeah. the same scene, just over <laughs> and over. And over. It was no. And yeah, over. there was no. Telling you. you know, yeah, over. there was no. Uh, There's a yeah. lack of. Uh, juice going on in those directors yeah minds. i thought at first i was like okay but like once i didn't mind it, it but i can see what you're saying yeah i was just like yeah there was God, no like so there was boring. no crescendo there was no like second it was like instead of like a, usually in movies and tvs there's an abc story yeah this was an a story and there was no B or C. No. I mean, I shouldn't story. say that. The B story, story was he had blood on his feet, which still didn't make any sense because oh, they never really explained that. why he was he always had blood. on his Weird. foot and he yeah. never ate, probably, which, because that's yeah. all they did. Like the same thing, the whole yeah. thing. And I it's was like, still, listen, if you have an hour and a half, hour, 40 minutes, don't it's not it. a terrible no, movie. Don't do it. It's not don't a terrible waste your movie. Life don't on do these it. Shitty movies. But I will say, go make a recommendation if we're going to stay on movies, TV. 
I'm not a big TV guy, you know, but I have become more so since COVID. Because, uh, and, and let me explain. I used to not like watching TV because I felt like I was wasting time, right? Like I felt like I should be doing something else. I've now allowed myself saying it's okay for me to waste time and have enjoyment. I think it's good. And it's been cool because we've watched some TV series that I would have normally not watched, um, like Ozark and stuff like that. Yeah. Space but, Force. Uh, uh, Space Force. Um, <laughs> Ted Lasso is, is good. It's it's a Hulu s- series. You were telling me about this the other it's day. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's only got, got like three, three episodes. Yeah, it's you, good. If you want to watch, uh, and uh, sorry for interrupting, if you want to get back to what you're talking about after, uh, the movie The Hateful Eight. Oh, that's a great one. Is, seen, uh, is that separated into a series of about eight to ten hour long episodes? What you and I. Or oh you gosh. can be involved too. I don't know if you want Thanks. to. Is it the actual? To, or is it it's, something no, new? No, no, no. It's a hundred percent. It's the real thing. It's the extended cut. But That's it's really extended. It's so extended. Yeah. There's That's ten. Ex- about ten, if I'm not mistaken. Where do you see hour, this? It's where, on where, Netflix. Netflix. It's on that Netflix. So oh my gosh. If you want, we can that. start it tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm totally you know, down. Yeah. Because I love you know that what movie. I is that a Western watched? movie? Yes, it, it is. Yeah, it was like kind yeah. of Western. It's like cowboy. Yeah, yeah, cowboy. It was a good show. I like. It was really good. You were talking about cults and what popped in my head okay. was the Umbrella Academy. Oh yeah, yeah that's that's a banger. that was really good. Oh my god, yeah. Klaus I, get, I didn't get into it. And the it's cult. I, was I watched funny the first part of the first one. I just wasn't into it. You have to. You uh, have to get through exactly because at first oh, I was the same way. But yeah. that's how all that stuff the, is. So though. the first episode's always a pilot, and it's never <laughs> yeah. that good. Mm. And, and then, you just have to. And then once you yeah. get the story, and then you start, you know, yeah. getting attached. Speaking of uh, a movie that I talked to Noah about, this. I was highly. Highly bummed out at the ending of the second season. I didn't get to see it yet. I um I saw the trailer (laughs) for I Am Legend two. Oh yeah! Wow, really? Which is going to be interesting. How they'll they'll do that? Yeah, it's you know it's the one movie that um, I I can't I I think it's one of the best movies. Is he doing it? Yes, Will Smith. Okay, yeah, and and uh, so is the other chick that was with him. Both of them were in it. Uh, I love that movie, but I can't watch it because of one scene. When his dog dies, I can't watch it. It just so bumming. It bums me out so bad that that dog died that I can't watch the movie anymore. I Sucks mean, for you. Yeah. I get it. But, I mean, it's it's sad. Life. All he it's had was that dog. Yeah, That's like, it. Well, so that's what? it. You never life. watched Old Yeller or you never any lost of the a other dog million? before. Up will make oh my you god! Cry like a bitch. You know what you should yeah. watch? Was it a dog's life? It's called Is a, that no, the no, no, no. <laughs> it's called a dog's purpose. A dog's oh, purpose. Because no. it continues watch, to die, right? Yeah. Like dies over and over and over again. Watch that one because that's a great. Oh, speak. Now we're on a movie run. We got it. I know Jay loved this movie. We watched it. I I found it like a comedy more than anything. Was Little Creatures? Is that what it was called? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. It yeah. was shot super well, but we, me and Lori <laughs> laughed and laughed and laughed because it's just so it asinine, so corny, dude. It was so corny. It was like a so children's good. book. Being it's literally read, that. Like... That was the vibe that they went for, and it's yeah, weird. It's like, children's book, like this poor kangaroo rat had the worst life ever. <laughs> so a fox comes in. <laughs> it awesome. It's like it's like everything that could go wrong. <laughs> no one nailed it when he said it's like this kangaroo rat was living a, a series of unfortunate events. Yeah, ever yeah. yeah, 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 was that poor kangaroo yeah, rat? Yeah. I just love the idea, like that they were building sets to film. I was yeah. like, that's so cool to like. No, and they filmed it great. I mean, it was amazingly it was, yeah. filmed. It was super, you know, and it, it you know. I agree. But yeah, yeah. it's it but was, it was this corn. It it yeah, it's that didn't make Dude, any sense either. Yeah, when the thing and then the heat. Some guys like whatever. dying. A crow <laughs> saves his life. You're like, whoa, whoa what? <laughs> oh yeah, someone uh, uh, Todd says uh, you should try watching Yellowstone. I've heard really good things about this Yellowstone uh, thing. It's a Kevin Costner, three seasons out. Uh, literally, I've heard it's like unbelievable. What's it well, about? We gotta watch. I, it. I don't know. It's a Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I think it's a western. Park? I think it's a western. Oh, so it's not about the national park. No, I think it's about you know because probably there. there was like yeah out there was the you know the wild west you know okay. and and but I've I've heard um, like literally one of the best series I, I have no idea if it's true Let's or watch not, it, but yeah three seasons but, looks yeah. like it's you know cowboy hats so and stuff yeah I yeah. watched this one cowboy since we're talking about Corona uh, Netflix shows and stuff I watched this one cowboy um, series that was on Netflix it was called it was something about there was God in the title. Mm. Um, it was something like God's Gone. I don't know. But it was this Western film, and uh, it was just just so good. It was probably one of the best series I've ever seen. Like, these uh, these uh, 
like cowboy pirates, if you will, like they rode on horses and shit, and basically they just go town to town, just destroying and like raping everyone. Well, that's kind of that how it was great. back then. And, uh, that's how it was back then. Yeah, sounds but there was like a it. Well, it ended out good. I won't destroy the thing, but it ended out surprisingly well. You mm. know what I mean? You never gave us the name, so you won't ruin it. Yeah, I don't know what it was called. That's why <laughs> it was called like. Yeah, something got, yeah. Godless. I think godless. it's called Godless. I have it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Godless. I was waiting to see if you uh, okay. gave me a couple other hints. Yeah, Godless. <laughs> what do we got here? It was good. Uh, yeah. So Lee, if you like Lee Westerns, Ellis said that, uh, that. they were going to just start watching Ozark. Ozark is good. Oh, that was a, a good one. Uh, that one's same frustrating. Thing, same thing. So you've got to get through the first couple. There's a lot of stuff where it, it's, it's coming at you it's where confusing. you're just like, yeah. whoa. But then once yeah. you're one or two in, then you're invested. And it's really good. Yeah. So that's good. Um, burn my hand. Sure. sure. Tell the damn story. Well, let's, wait, let's, real let's, quick. Let's, I have a quick super chat from Josh. Josh. Yeah, uh, it says, <laughs> yes, I'm a local. I'll email Beth with our contact info. My All dad's right. in town and has his gear as well. Oh, my uh, God. Son and dad versus son and dad. I'm filming it. I'm let's do it. it. Let's have it's it. Been, I will preference by saying I have not played hockey in a few years, so it's not like I'm going to be. Uh, I'm not going to be very good either. I'm well, probably not going to be doing the chops. I mean, I don't know how soon or how lately anybody has been playing with no yeah. ice or whatever yeah. so like i said i was just telling dad yeah. that now is the time once they open to get out there because everyone's going to be on the even, even playing the play field, field yeah. because everyone's yeah. going to be rusty. but I, I i do want to get back on the i mean I, that's one of my hopes is that i can get back on the ice. Do downside it. i love roller hockey as well and uh, although you can play outside, although you remember when I used to play outside, I was always oh, tore up. I had like raspberries everywhere, we you know, and because uh, I. But it was I also need... part of the people you played with too. Yeah, yeah, no. we played hard. We we it we, we play like matter. yeah you yeah it doesn't you're matter. You're on blacktop. Yeah, you're so. on blacktop. And you're on blacktop, and, 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 and you play until your wheels are gone, and yeah. then you're just literally on yeah. the metal. And, and we used to like <laughs> we used to fly <laughs> out there too. It wasn't like we were just like you know we we were flying. Oh. Playing hard, yeah, and and yeah, like real men with no knee pads. No elbow pads. Yeah, no. shorts. Yeah. Shorts, shorts and, and <laughs> short sleeves. Yeah. And that's so how it sad. should be. Yeah. Yeah. I was a little kid, man, wearing these shorts and shit. Getting checked by adults. I know. And adults I was like, would I was fucking like 35 and I was out there, you know, rocking cruising around Noah. with like. Rocking Noah. Yeah, like Boom. I was punching over like 12-year-olds. Like, no. bam. Yeah, get no, down the ground. Do Dude, no 12-year-olds <laughs> would play besides me. I, this, I'm not making this shit yeah. up. No, I, I would be the you. only young kid out there. Yeah, we were all They like, would be yeah. on my team, obviously. Yeah, most of the other guys, yeah. Most of my other guys were like 18 to 20-something. I was the only old guy there, yeah. And the opposing team. There's always some cockhead, yeah. all right? Yeah. Not even dickhead. He's a cockhead <laughs> that would hit me, like, yeah. on purpose. Like, yeah. uh, most of the guys, I'm talking young people, okay, six years old, all right? Like, if, you were pretty little. A, yeah. Very little. So most of the guys would come around, maybe give you a little stick lift and steal the puck. Right. But I remember getting hit sometimes and really scraping my shit up and, like, you and... I don't know, maybe oh, a couple I took other people. Massive wipeouts, man. Like they yeah. would be. You guys defended me, obviously. Oh yeah, as yeah. You yeah. Would. There were many fights but like, in that that on that rink. No, we yeah. fought a lot. I, 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 we don't have <laughs> yeah. to tell the story. Yeah. We fought at softball, bro. I, be, yeah. I bet. Dude. I, yeah, yeah. No, we. It we seemed like almost like yeah, like half. Half the time we played against people we didn't know ended in brawls. <laughs> like yeah, at least time. you're right. I remember this one time we told it before, so I'll tell it in five seconds. We are playing. Things got scrappy, and all of a sudden there was like five cars cops. that just no, not cops. Oh, oh just yeah, cars. no, the guy like, called his cousin. Boom, boom, the guy boom, boom. Called, and they got out with bats. Yeah, there was just like oh, they got out yeah. with bats. Cool. I mean, cool. they literally like the, the, the whole group pulled up. They're like, "You mess with my cousin." They got bats and everything. And it was like, "Oh crap, we're in trouble here." <laughs> you know. And, yeah. and I don't know how that got diffused. I think how it got diffused was that yeah, I had played with his cousin, the guy that, like, got into the altercation. I played with him, and we were cool. So, like, I think I stepped in was like, hey, dude, we're good. Yeah. I'm on know, the radio. Like, that. like let's, yeah, did you know that in the future I'm going to be a radio star? <laughs> uh, telekinetic yeah. or telekinesis? Yeah, you know, I can't, I, can't lose any, I can't lose any chiclets because then I'll, I'll have a wisp when whisk. I'm on the radio. <laughs> I can't lose whisk. these chiclets because then I can't get these ducats for Jay. <laughs> the ducats, ducats for dude, Jay, yeah. That's a good shirt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ducats. But no, we, uh, so, so I'd like to get out and play hockey again. But I would like to do some roller, but unfortunately, the oh, indoor agree. roller rink that um, I used to play at is closed now forever. It is closed. Yeah, forever. They, oh, they said no. they're never opening again. R. And R. I think that was the only indoor rink in, in this area. Well, I guess well, it leaves an opening for others. I don't know about yeah. only, but... Oh, wait a second. Uh, uh, some former high school state champs will be playing with us on the rink. I used to... I, I don't care. To, I played so, against okay. state champs. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, former... 
like how old? Yeah, yeah, Your that's age? A, that's a hard. Yeah, like I, I <laughs> used to be a former, yeah, exactly. yeah, former state champion. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm I, not buying the bullshit. Back, like, in, back when <laughs> I the yeah. L Bundys of the <laughs> back when I played a lot. <laughs> ta- yeah, back when I played a lot, we used to. I used to drop in at this rink that uh, during the Christmas vacation, all the college guys would come and I drop in with them all the time. But that was 20 years ago when yeah. I had wheels. Now I, you know, now I'm an old I man. I practice with the San Jose fucking sharks. Yeah, bitch. Well, I did too. So I'm yeah. better than you. Yeah, we did. We, we <laughs> actually, with I had, remember I put the, I had a selfie on the bench with uh, Niemi, so which cool. was the goaltender for the sharks. <laughs> I That's scored so cool. Stanley on... cup winnings uh, guy too. He won with the, uh, with the uh, and Chicago Blackhawks. I Black scored Hawks. on him. Five hole. You did score. He did score. Tighten your yeah, five he hole, bud. I'm out there making tape to tape passes with professionals. A 16 year old. Vroom. I will say though. So but cool, I dude. will say that I was on when I was out there. Um, my boy Burnsy like passed me the puck cross rink, <laughs> but he didn't realize that it was me. So yeah. he zipped it and it knocked the stick out of my hand. <laughs> oh, dude, I bet. Literally that knocked like the stick out of my hand. An hour. And he was like, "Oh, it's dude, I'm thing. so sorry. I didn't know it was you." And I'm like. I, it made me feel pretty me bad, like you know? Bitch, like, man. oh, if you would have known exactly. it was me, you weren't going to actually pass it to me like you would pass it to a normal person. You'd have to, like, oh, let me do it over here. Yeah, you sure. lost it over he my... the stick out of your hand. That's why. And this was a pass. That wasn't a shot. That was a pass. Right. It knocked the stick out of the my hand. The trick hands. is, I know it sounds so fucking stupid. Soft hands? Yeah. Oh, you duh. barely grip it, and then you... You gotta bring you it gotta back. Right? Yep. Yeah. You yep. gotta accept it. You gotta accept it. Follow yeah. the give. motion. You have to have give. And dude, it, I don't know how to physically do it, but I've been to enough of the things with him. We used to, to cut, I know catch what they baseballs say. barehanded like that. You can yeah, catch yeah, yeah. baseball far well, away. You know, the, the thing I Very said about similar. professional <laughs> exactly hockey players, and I know you know this because we were on the ice with them, is that the biggest difference is I mean, I've seen some so. high school guys, I've seen college guys that can skate just as good as a pro. Mm-hmm. You know sure, what I mean? Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. Pros are awesome no, skaters. Yeah, you're right. Awesome know, skaters. But there's a lot. The shot is what's the difference. Yeah. Those guys, literally, when they, like, literally, like, we used to. are not wrong. So we had Bernsey, my boy from San Jose used to <laughs> he'd come up and we would put George in, in a couple a couple like we just, ho- just like a couple like roller hockey pads oh, and no. a helmet Nothing and, and Bernsey would rifle puck sh- bing, 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 rifle bing, pucks out Georgie. dude you couldn't he would hit the puck you couldn't even see it go like George wouldn't move until it hit him yeah and then yeah, and yeah. he'd have welts all over oh and that was God. like the consequence remember we did like some consequence like if you missed the answer you got shot at by Bernsey Ooh, and he so mean. oh my God he literally like <laughs> lit him up but that's the thing you get on the ice with the pros and and they can shoot that puck harder than you because you like at a high school game or you're at a college game you're like man those guys can shoot hard man those pros are and it's it's deadly accurate you know what i mean like yeah oh yeah and it's kind of like similar to remember when we were in at uh the tigers game baseball game and we're in the bullpen area i think you ended up getting a couple balls as a matter of fact yeah like eight balls and and when you actually are standing right by them when they're warming up pitching you realize how fast they throw that ball like i think if i was standing in the batter's box and they threw that ball i'd poop myself yeah. You'd be yeah. like most little league kids like starting off when they're scared to get hit. Like Yeah, <laughs> baseball's yeah. very hard. It's um mm-hmm. dude, it's fucking hard. I remember yeah, playing in just like before high school. So we're not even throwing we're throwing seventy maybe. You All know right. what I mean? So, so uh and it's flying by you. Josh, and I couldn't even see it. Josh said it was uh year of two thousand, so most post, under thirty five. Post two thousand. Oh post two thousand. But uh uh under thirty five. So I'm that's that's all right, but still, young bucks, I mean, still might bucks. be. You know, I mean, they still got some testosterone flowing through those tests. They don't got the experience. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Experience, experience, <laughs> experience. means slow down. I will say, with <laughs> hockey, I've noticed that like at some point, you just don't have legs. You know what I mean? Like, like I can't. It, I can skate as fast as I want now, and I can't skate any. I can't. I can skate half as fast as I used to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I just, yeah. It, it's like it's it's. It, it's with one sport that you do lose. You know what I mean? Like you can, I it's, mean, not just the one sport. Every sport you lose as you get older. But I remember like the last couple of years I played, I remember getting burned by younger guys that I would have never got burned by before. I think that's a you know? lack of playing, though. Yeah. And that could be you true. Could, yeah. I, you could get it back. Maybe. Because I remember, I'm not even joking. This is, it's crazy how hockey was because you're right. In my experience, you lose your hockey skill a lot faster than the other uh, sports skills. Yeah. It, I would take a day off of practice and then that next day that i would come off after that break my game would be rusty 
Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're not tuning it up every day, don't play into you get whatever age too. You can only play professionally for so what long. Do you what do you mean by good. whatever what age? age? What the what fuck? Do what do you mean well, by way whatever. younger than you. Way younger. <laughs> 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 Listen, Gordy Howe played a shift when he was seventy, uh, and Nick Lindstrom retired at forty-one or something. <laughs> played a shift on a senior. <laughs> like, hey, we're bringing in the old. No, it's the thing. Detroit Vipers. Actually, they signed him. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, because he had played like uh, <laughs> professional hockey. I think for like. Like six decades, wow. and, and like the, the last decade was like, like I mean, when he was in, and his he was at center. the age where, where the way the sport was, you could maybe even do that. That doesn't happen anymore. No, but but what they did was <laughs> they they literally the Detroit Vipers signed him to a one day contract, <laughs> and then gave him one shift just so that he could get that decade oh, yeah. as a yeah. professional. You That's know, awesome. it wasn't an NHL team. It was a, uh, yeah. yeah, it was an IHL, IHL, yeah, IHL think, yeah. at the time. Yeah. I, think, I don't even think yeah. that that league's around anymore, but it was, uh, but yeah, that, those were great days. We used to love going to the Vipers. That oh was the gosh, best. So those fun were good days. Those yeah. Yeah. Is that like crowded? Almost like triple A baseball, but yeah, for hockey. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, a it's minor like you're league, seeing but it wasn't right actual. Talent. Yeah. It wasn't like associated with games. Yeah, they weren't associated with any major league right, right, or right, like right, an right. NHL team. Okay. It was like its own yep. you know, league, yeah, and league it was but cheap, not a very so good league. So you could league. go there for the family. Yeah, like five bucks. Much. You could get You'd great be on the glass. seats right on the ice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was super and It's still dope. fun to watch it any sport fun. as long as it's played pretty well. And they yeah. used to fight every every game. Every so that's game. always you know, So, yeah. yeah, unlike That the was NHL, the best part about the league, yeah. Yeah, they just fight. fights. Like, yeah, oh, you slash me. It always goes back to fighting with us with our hockey It does, and that's how Noah played, so it was good. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, fight stories, man. <laughs> too many. Too many mm. fight stories. Okay, so should I tell my burn story? Real quick, Taylor Jordan says, uh, hello from Maine. I love you all, but here's five bucks for Noah's alleged Mary Jane funds. I'm a medical <laughs> oh, marijuana yeah. caregiver, so oh, I had to. Thank there you. you. What was wow. that person's name? They threw fives, and it's uh, Taylor Jordan. Hey, Taylor. Jordan. Taylor. 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 I love Jordan. you so much. I appreciate yeah. you, and uh, I wish your life to be as long as the River of Jordan. Oh, nice. How long is I it? See how long I hope it's is. long. It's, I don't know how long the Jordan River is. It's thir- about uh, 1,300 30, miles. 30 miles. Is it really? 1,300. Are you thinking the, the no, Nile or 1325. Are you thinking the Jordan? 1325. Are you thinking the Nile or the Jordan? I think they're similar. It's 156 similar. miles. Yeah. 156 miles. I was That's close. a little bit different from 1,300. How, how long is that miles is the Nile? Per year or? Yeah, 156 years. That's a long time. You know, because there was a guy that, uh, there was actually a TV show. It was really cool. I didn't watch it, but I think it was cool. It seems like it would be cool. Nile's uh, forty or four thousand one hundred and thirty-two miles. There was a, a TV show wow. where a guy walked the Nile, the entire Nile. That's crazy. Sounds yeah. like a great show. That I show sounds like it fucking it. sucks. No, <laughs> think about walking the Nile through. I mean, you know, no, you I'm think of like it. like it's you know Egypt or something <laughs> like that. That's fine. But when you're walking four thousand miles through kind of Africa, so yeah, much. yeah, yeah, I do like to walk that kind of stuff. Speaking, of, yeah. And can I, you can you punch it up? Can you just punch up and see? What is there so a TV exciting. show like, of the man that walked the Nile? <laughs> oh my God, we're looking this up right now. Yeah, let's look it up. This is what we're wasting our time with. And I'm you, sorry, I mean, we're not wasting our time. We're wasting watch, all the people watching. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to be here regardless. This is the guy that won't yeah. watch Forrest Gump. I know, but no, you're going to watch, watch the shit. guy walk the fucking Nile. Oh, fourth, oh I walked so far, <laughs> and now I'm at the end of the Nile. When I started, I was at the beginning. That's some dangerous. Looks like there is. It says Overland Expedition. Expeditions um, was commissioned into a television program for Channel 4 that aired January 2015, and it detailed the trip uh, in his book, Walking the Nile. Walking the Nile, yeah. Dude. And the guy's name was Levinson, Levison Woods. Speaking of another Wish TV show best. that's going to be back that I'm stoked on is uh, we watched years ago. It's Eco, Eco Challenge. Challenge. Yeah, the Eco Challenge. I, I really hope it's as good as it was. Because it was so good. If yeah. they changed it too much, I'm going to be real disappointed. So Mark Burnett, who I believe did Survivor, like that's where his big claim to fame, he started his first TV executive producer role or whatever was Eco Challenge, which is this these groups of people that do these this insane challenge from Eco uh, where they're like going, you know, what, a thousand miles or something like that, up cliffs, across glaciers. The funny thing you know, is there'd be is. like normal people. Oh, yeah. Who like, it's not like they trained for it or did anything. And that was the funny part because obviously they would fall off really, really fast. Really quick. Yeah, they would fall yeah, off yeah, yeah. But the ones that were really good, they would like literally, like let's say this race took, 10 days they would sleep like a total of like five hours in 10 days that's so crazy and then like physically exert theirself climbing mountains and doing crazy stuff and but the only difference between the new one and this one is that uh bear grills is in it in this oh, that's one that's cool oh, you know, so, so it's so, fake 
So, no, I think <laughs> that's it, what yeah. I'm afraid of. We'll see. No, I don't think it's going to be fake. I, I mean, it could is be. Is Bear Grylls like fake? I yeah. never heard that. The before. original Bill, Bear, like the Discovery Show, Survivor Man was, or not Survivor Man. Uh, uh, what was his? Survivor Man was good. That was Les Kraus, Crowd or whatever. That guy, that guy was real. He was legit. Yeah. But then uh, whatever Bear Grylls was, with Bear Grylls. yeah, like Survivor or something. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. What, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was like legitimately. They busted him. He was like staying in a hotel. Yeah. And no. Then, like, and then like my dude. kind of survivor man. Yeah, like, <laughs> like literally like the Hyatt. Yeah, like a half mile from the, the hotel was like the desert. Yeah, you know oh, I mean? like man. I've been out here for a month. I'm gonna drink this piss yeah, yeah. out of this jug. It's and lemonade. then he's like, All right, what are we gonna eat uh, t- later on at the, the buffet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? The Hyatt's having a special tonight. The yeah, buffet. you know. But I mean at the same time, I'll be totally honest with you, it didn't bother me, right? No. Because he was still giving really great survivor skills yeah. uh to people that might eventually save their lives i don't care if it was real i guess or not. it's just I didn't because to it's be sold suffering. to be real right yeah if yeah. you sold because yeah. you could make so a cool show and be like not staying out in the wild but like hey here's some tips yeah. but if but you no make it watch it yeah you know, but if so. you make it like hey i'm staying out here <laughs> that's like it's a little i get it I yeah get it. It's I, fine, get, I get why people do you are think upset. that all the fucking arguments of the 30 seasons of the kardashians were real you know what i'm saying like no. I, say I bet none of them none of them no i bet some of them were did you Dude, hear they got to be I some shiesty it's hoes it's over it's over they ended it. They oh my it. gosh this Thank is the God. worst day of my they life it. yeah what are you going to do with all this free time now that you don't have to watch the kardashians i don't know that's the only show i like i can't believe that show went on for as long as it did why do you care it you don't watch it why do you care me it tells me the state it tells of you society what? I agree. that there's that many people that would watch that shit. It, what do you mean <laughs> it tells you the state of society? Walk outside. There's fucking idiots everywhere. I, know, I can I know, see the state of society. I know. I, know. <laughs> I can fucking go outside for two seconds. I'll be like, oh, hey, yep. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking wave back. Hi. <laughs> Someone's being nice to me. <laughs> Shut yeah, up and go know. wash the Kardashians. <laughs> I, I appreciate people, what they've dude. done to the world. Yeah. I appreciate their contribution. Yeah. Dude, yeah, me that too. That booty. Yeah. yeah Fuck exactly. it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Honestly, I don't care. I think I'm proud of that man. Can you believe that what he man? chopped yeah. his dick off? Who? Oh, you're talking about uh, Caitlin. Jenner. Caitlin. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't. I am. Did he actually do it or was yes! it? Yes. Really? His dick's gone. Are you sure? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, I real. mean, I guess, like, I'm not sure because I haven't seen it. I haven't so. seen it either, uh, but I've heard rumors. Yeah, maybe it was just a stunt. It's Could not a, a stunt. stunt. It's not a stunt I have at no all. Idea. I don't know, and I don't care. He, she, he was on the cover of Wheaties. She, she is she on has the cover of Wheaties. She has titties. Yeah. Marilyn Manson With two did D's. That. T-I-D-D-I-E-S. Wait, 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 wait. Marilyn Manson had, had implants put in at one point. Excuse me. Does he still have them? Not anymore. Didn't got he rid get, of them. He, his ribs taken out? Wait, or is that folklore? Uh, I think that's wait, probably Jay, folklore. Stop skipping past that. <laughs> Marilyn Manson had implants in his chest? Yeah, he got implants, yeah. I'm looking this up. Go ahead. What look size it up. cup are we talking? I don't know. Did Do you think I like felt them or yes, something? Yes, Dad, I do. You, you dressed think? up as a woman singing to the devil. Yeah, I did dress up as a <laughs> you woman. You dressed like a woman and I did sing never about dress the devil. Going. Did he get you implants? I think he did. I'm pretty sure he did. So I could be wrong, but fuck, dude! I never thought about that. There's being so many a possibility. things like this. There's, what guys getting implants? Yes, because I mean, fuck, dude! Girls have to uh, some, temporary. Yeah, yeah some temporary girls for a photo see, shoot. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Like some girls will have just as flat a chest as me, right? Yeah. But then go get some double D donkers. I don't know that he can double D's. Yeah, they can. I don't think they can. I don't think they can jump that far. Why not? Flesh is stretchy. I, I think there is still a, a limit to this. There's stretch. a cap. I guess you're right. I think that like you can go from if you're like I don't listen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Let's, I don't. I think you can do anything you want. We're spitballing here. Let's yeah, talk honest. about it. Okay. No, I don't. So what I, size do you get? An A cup? I don't know. I you don't can't know, even Noah. fuck around with an A cup. It's just I a waste know. of time. I don't know, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I don't know. This is for your podcast, not for my. Podcast. Can we tell this fire story real? Okay. Oh wait, real quick. Really quick. Maddie Big says stumbled across your channel today. Your videos are wow. great. Dude, well, thank, thank you so you. much, man. I'm Aww. so glad that you just I found me. You. I mean, I appreciate you. Got and you're at the podcast. Yeah, and you're at the podcast. Yeah. That's amazing. I appreciate you so much. And, and hopefully you can go back and watch all 450 <laughs> <laughs> videos <laughs> by uh, by time you next time I talk to you. No, uh, no, but seriously, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad that you found Since me. Since you're I mean, a new uh, friend of us, we're going to share a new word with you. Bogle. It's a Scottish Bogle. origin, and it means a friendly spirit. Oh, okay. Bogle. Well, there Bogle. You go. It wasn't a... Bogle. 
wasn't what was what was the uh the non magic wasn't that a bogle or is that a what is that non -ma remember when no muggle 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 yeah, muggle yeah. muggle yeah, muggle, yeah, muggle. Yeah, that, a muggle. Boy, that, that, but that, that was another nice little thing with the wine is they give you a little words little it's like fact. snapple it's like one snapple. time i opened yeah. i opened a snapple the other day and it told me that it took over a hundred million oh. mathematical equations just to guess the weather for the day Incorrectly. Incorrectly. Because <laughs> yeah. they never really get it right. No, yeah, it's a bummer, isn't it? But it takes over That is so that. cool, though. It takes millions of equations. No, it doesn't. You just look outside nope. and go, she says, no, it's raining. It's she rain. says, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not it even. It, was, no, it, it doesn't done. take any equations to <laughs> guess. If my knee hurts, if my knee hurts in the morning. <laughs> exactly. That, dude, that's the best one. <laughs> my knee hurts in the morning. It's going to rain that's the out the most evening. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is yeah. right. They asked us that on the radio today, didn't they? Did Remember they? they said, can can something predict, can snakes predict storms or something? That's like what that. it was, yeah, earthquakes. Earthquakes, yeah, earthquakes, earthquakes yeah. yeah, earthquakes. And I said, of course they can. Uh -huh. Of I course. Think. I don't know. I'm not in the Tell your burn so. story. Tell this burn story. Okay, so first but, Sherry. Yeah, yeah. First Sherry says, student uh, S. Taylor says, hi. And Shiv Patel would like a shout out from Noah. Hey, Tortoise Kid Saddles for the win. Hey, Shiv. So Shout out Shiv. Yeah, that's Dude, a weird name. <laughs> Shiv. I'm that's a nice name. Check out this name, all right? S so Taylor, you're chilling Shiv. with your boy Shiv, all right? Yeah. You got a shank, all right? I was going to say. You're in, a, you're in a jailhouse, Ooh, all right? Are you shanking Shiv? Exactly. You're like, <laughs> Shiv you shank, Shiv shank. You won't mess with my you boy know Shiv. He's got this shank. And he's the only thing I think of with Shiv is uh, a shiva. I don't know where I was going I want to get have a shiva. Shiva? When I die. A yeah, shiva? we'll have a shiva. I took a yeah. hot, stinky shiva this morning. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Can I tell Jeez, a shiva Noah. story? Um, no, no, please don't. <laughs> please, please don't. can I just... No, save it for your podcast, oh, please. Guys. Please. <laughs> there's there's a, a amount of depravity we don't allow on this particular podcast. All right. How about we tell your stupid Says burn one, story? Yeah. All right, yeah, the burn story. Uh, no, let me see just what tell oh, Britt, it. Just uh, tell Britt actually it. just said, hello, Brian, Noah, and Lori. My name is Gage. Hey, I get Gage. to volunteer at PHS each summer. My oh, dream nice. is to work with venomous snakes, and I really look up to you and Noah. Hey. Hope awesome. you, uh, your visit to PHS is awesome. Gage, that's I love awesome. Gage. Yeah, Sorry, definitely. Gage. It's really cool out there. I mean, I can't wait to get, you know, show you guys. It's really, it's, it's a cool place, man. Can I it's tell a, a story about a Gage? If it's uh, clean. It is. I used to work with a Gage. Okay. He was, Here? Nope. Okay. He was an aspiring uh, musician, legitimately. And uh, he would play his little guitar while I was working at the beach, right? And he the would beach. just be... Uh, jamming out and he'd be like dude i dropped a new single today bro will you listen to it i'm like yeah dude fuck yeah i'll be your only view sorry um i was an aspiring youtuber at the time still am but i remember the day we departed he wished me luck all right he said noah i wish you the best of luck on your adventure with this youtube career and i said thank you but i don't need it I know I'm gonna no, be you good. Didn't. Oh boy! Of course and, you um, did. That was that was, nice your, that was <laughs> luck. And uh, that was that. <laughs> but and look, I didn't need his fucking luck. <laughs> My hard work. Well, did maybe it. you Listen, did. He wishes, already yeah, wished wishes it. are like, yeah. Good, good wishes help exactly. Prayers. What if you'd be even God, further you know. now if you took his right, luck? Yeah, yeah. If you would have. Yeah. yeah. No. So even, if, the even if you didn't so it's take like, oh, it, we're open at the Reptarium tonight. I, get rid of so, these guys um, for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Make sure you have confidence in yourself, people. You can have confidence, but you That's can also accept uh, good wishes and goodwill from all men <laughs> and women. And, and in betweenies. <laughs> good. Well, Christmas is coming up, by the way. How many days is there left till Christmas? Jesus. Dude, a, what the fuck is that? Hundred and a hundred and more. There's about a hundred days. Not, no, there's not even a hundred days left, is there? Let's see, September, October, November. Yeah, there's probably a hundred days. Yeah, but Christmas is going to be here pretty soon. One hundred and seven days. One hundred and seven days till Christmas. Days in a week. See, that's not that's that's not that far. Are but you surprised? all right, do you want to hear about this burn story? No, not really. Okay, I'm dude, let's just <laughs> leave. Let's just fucking go. That'd be so good, dude. Yeah, it's good. No, yes, we won't. We won't talk about the it. The bird we cannot see. Honestly, I do want to hear about it because I didn't hear the full story, and I want to hear how all this developed. Yeah. Okay, so uh, quickly, I'll tell the story as quickly as I can. First off, I you know I sauna every day. Yeah, we've got about forty-five minutes to get through this. Uh, no, uh, so I sauna every day because I love my sauna. And lately I've been having kind of a dry, like, uh, just kind of dry lungs. I don't know what that is. And I thought to myself, well, maybe it's because saunas are dry, even though you add the water and it raises. But, you know, typically even when you do several ladles, it only goes up to maybe 3 
you know, it, like humidity, high, right? yeah, humidity, yeah. right? Uh, so it is a dry heat. And I thought, well, maybe doing all this sauna is kind of drying my lungs out a little bit. So I brought a big old glass of water in the sauna, you know, on top of the bucket that you ladle with the ladle. And I thought I'll just pour the water over the, the stones to start to get the humidity up. And then it, later on, I'll ladle. So as I just like pour the water. And then the steam comes up and burns the living shit out of my hand. Let me see your hand. It's, I mean, it's all my knuckles. Oh, yeah, I see a little redness. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be blistered, to be totally honest with you, because it hurt I'm surprised it, terribly. it's not. Yeah, so the, so the point helped. is, is do never, ever pour water with your hand over hot coals. No. Yeah, definitely do. don't do that. I did because it one seems. spoon before, and it burned the shit out of me. And I was like, ah! Yeah, I did a whole cup. I mean, like a big cup. I a can't big even cup. imagine that. It, it was just so bad. <laughs> yeah, it was Have bad. you ever had, what was the worst burn you had? I'm talking degrees now. I'm not talking just, oh, I burned myself. What worst burn you've ever had? And if you can't think about it, I'll I've tell never, mine. I've never really had a bad burn. Okay. I mean, like I've had bad burns, but it's never been like re you know, required medical attention. Yours? My bad burn. Oh, I got one actually. Go ahead. I me. have. I used to have a-holes for friends back in high school, okay? Mm -hmm. This fucking kid smoking a cig, right? He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> right? He, he does this trick. I don't know what he does, but he puts it out on his palm, right? He mm -hmm. does yeah. no mark, mm -hmm. right? And he's just like, that was cool, wasn't it? Spit in his hand. Probably. I was just like, yeah, that was cool. That was all right. He lights another one. <laughs> he's looking at me. He's like, let me put it out on your hand. I'm like, okay, oh. that went so flawless on your hand. I'll let you do it on mine. Psh, puts it out right on my palm. If you see, you can literally see. I there's remember like when you this, had uh, that. This like circle on my palm because I had this <clears throat> huge, man, that must have been a fourth that. degree burn. It melts you it you melt your skin. Me. Yeah. You never it told bubbled, me how you got that. It bubbled. Like it was well, yeah, uh, but, a membrane. It was, well, it was like a, I, a I, heart. I can one up you on that story on cigarettes if you want. Do you okay. want me to? Yeah, because Nanny used to put them on your neck. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no. If you notice, if you notice, you can barely see here because of the nose of the coca. Okay. And then you notice here with the penguin. Yeah, I you did. See those I have little noticed that there? before. I, yeah. That yeah. was uh, we used to put a lit cigarette on our hands and see how long we could go Been and there. do a competition with one another. I think this hand was about two minutes of burnt cigarette before I, I, and I won that competition, by the way. And I think I lost this one at just you over feel like a, a winner. <laughs> yeah. And so now the rest of my life, I'll have two scars on my, my and, arm. And one I'll forever story. have one on but my now I have, hand. But now I have tattoos that cover them. So, but yeah, that's, 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 that, that's true. I yeah, feel I me it. like most women probably have a really good curling iron story. Yeah. yeah because yeah, those yeah. things are the devil. But I, the, story oh I was gonna, the story I was going to actually tell when I said I had a good story, you guys, yeah, yeah. Lori loves when I talk about this story. And, uh, and I can tell you, I'll, just, I'll even bring up one word, and then you could tell the story. Hawaii. Oh, yeah. We've actually <laughs> oh, covered this. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we did we talk did. about so my stuff feet. that you're yeah. purple my, my, uh, my, my, my feet turned feet. purple. Yeah. Yes. In purple Hawaii. From Maria's Hawaii done that. from, from uh, sun. And so. we're not joking, people. I know that some people already know because they've experienced this. But if you haven't experienced a sunburn that bad, your skin will literally turn purple yeah. Yeah, like barney bad. and you're it was it was, yeah. it was a little scary like oh my scary. god is he gonna die because that's yeah. not a color that your skin should no be. And that's how people <laughs> get skin cancer yeah i think i don't know i just made maria's first year in florida she like went down and put her feet in the sand and they came up all blistered after a mm. day of the sand oh Ugh. so yeah. painful poor girl yeah. oh and i can tell you why because i've had a similar experience not blistered mm-hmm Mm, excuse me, but I remember being on the beach before, and yeah, my feet were really hot. So I'm like, oh, I'll stick them in the sand because yeah, that makes thing. sense. Block it out from the sun, and uh, thankfully I had my cousin Brandon, which loves me, love you too, Brandon. And uh, he was like, yo, dude, be careful, bro. You might like burn your feet in there. <laughs> yeah, you don't think like about it. Yeah, it's like a little what? oven. Exactly, yeah, it's, it's all like glass. It's, yeah. Like yeah. it's like a little oven. So interesting. Yeah. I think that's a. Good note to end it on. Give yeah, you got anything else for us, Jay? Or That's it, babe. So, guys, uh, I'm yeah. going to let Noah take us out of here, but I appreciate you hanging in. Hopefully, yeah. God willing, knock on uh, wood here, we'll be in our, our new digs next week. I'm hoping it's, uh, <laughs> it's going <gonna>, <laughs> to be good. So, hopefully, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, I, I, 
Ninety percent, hundred percent. Yeah, that's 50, how 50. I feel. <laughs> yeah. Bitty so uh, it doesn't matter either way. You'll see our ugly mugs on the yes, screen. Yes, you will see us either way. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time today. I had a good time. Me too. I did. So uh, yeah, I hope you learned one or two things today. If you're lucky, yeah, you learned two. If you have two. a sauna, don't pour water on your poles. Or don't stick your feet in the sand. Brian's a radio star. And Brian's a radio star. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You've been checked in, and we are checking out. <laughs> See you guys. Goodbye. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right, there it is. Another one.